happy tuesday everybody it's tuesday can y'all believe it oh my goodness the dogs beat you up yesterday they always beat me up with love yo avenged welcome in welcome in oh why is the text still not yellow do you think you think twitch will ever fix that let's go flipping ggs i know fortune cookie hitting 1k like a boss Yo, Lord Jukebox had the stream go yesterday. After a bad day at work, they ended up offering me a slight promotion and pay raise. So I'm happy. Yo, that is super exciting. Hell yeah, Lord Jukebox. Huge congratulations. Oh my goodness. That is super, super awesome. Man, we just we just getting all great news. All the great news to start today. It's May the 4th. Y'all know that. May the 4th be with every single one of you. We got beautiful starfish in-house how you doing today starfish lord jukebox getting a promotion fortune cookie hitting a huge milestone fortune cookie hitting 1k followers that is absolutely outstanding stellar sauce fortune yo i hope they do too yeah i mean the italic isn't bad but like it'd be cool if it was just something else you know no it's just the truth it's just the truth you totally deserve it i'm so damn happy for you legendary fortune um oh and by the way dj thank you incredibly much for the host and flying high gaming if you are still here thank you incredibly much for the bitty love my friend i appreciate you layla you got some words to say you appreciate wow hello hello if you are making a mouth lightsaber sounds you are missing a huge opportunity that lightsaber that lightsaber sound <laughs> yo creeping ricky thank you so much for the host creeping i appreciate you starfish with the beautiful host as well i appreciate you right back at everybody layla what are you what are you smoking today are you extra are you extra lovey um the new slash me sucks i want oh yeah i want the color back i agree i agree or it would be cool if like i don't know you could change the color or but creeping recon if you are lurking though my friend i hope you have a stellar magnificent day layla sends you all the love i send you all the love i give you all the good vibes i hope you have a just a magnificent day you legend I'll ask the RN to make a lightsaber sound to say inject me with the second dose today. <laughs> Works with me. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> it is stormy here this morning. Oh, is it pretty? Is it pretty rainy over there? It's been raining quite a bit over here as well. I like the rain though. I really, really, really like the rain. I'm a sucker for the rain. I like to like open up all the windows in the house and just like let the rain air out, kind of get in. Uh, rainy vibes are my friend. It's it's nice living in Washington state where it rains a lot. But y'all, it's May the 4th. Does anybody have any exciting plans for today? Does anybody have any super fun things that they want to do um for May the 4th? Anybody doing anything Star Wars? -y? Playing any Star Wars games? Watching any Star Wars movies? Of course it rains. It doesn't rain as much as you think easy. I definitely wish it rained a little bit more here um it's raining all day and i am so happy right is it rain the best i love the rain work and then get my second dose hell yeah fortune how are you i've heard i've had <laughs> i just can't with you starfish <laughs> um i've heard the second dose can like definitely whoop your butt a little bit fortune so definitely take it easy drink lots of water maybe some coffee but mostly water but I'm super excited for you, Fortune. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be sending a much of stupid uh, Star Wars memes and gifts to people. Do it. Today is the day to do it, right? Maybe we should watch some Star Wars later. Maybe I'll I'll see if wifey wants to watch Star Wars. Here's Here you go, everybody. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? Everybody. Everybody. Avenged, Fortune, DJ, Easy, Starfish, even Zephbot what is your favorite star wars movie just not storms with wind oh yeah tornadoes no 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 to the tornadoes getting your first dose this week hell yeah dj cal said the side effects lasted about a day so happy to be working from home so i can recover yes definitely kick back and relax fortune a new hope and then rogue one i agree a new hope is also my favorite like the more i've watched like the older ones i mean i really 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 like the original trilogy but yeah, I'd say A New Hope is probably my favorite as well. It's just so, it's just so classic, right? 
Ooh, give me the coffee power. Hot take, I love Revenge of the Sith. I like Revenge of the Sith too. I think Revenge of the Sith is easily the best one of the prequels. I can, I, you know, I used to think I liked Attack of the Clones more, but as I've grown older, I feel like I can't really watch Attack of the Clones. It just, the cringe in it is so hard. It's so difficult for me to watch, I, but I'd probably prefer a Phantom Menace over Attack of the Clones. But yeah, of the original three, I would say probably Revenge of the Sith. Re Revenge of the Sith is dark, and I like dark movies. I like the one where Captain Picard saves Gandalf. <laughs> that's my favorite one too, actually, Gonzalez. Uh, that is that is that is an underrated one. <laughs> Do it. Um, I'm going to suck it in and get the shot, even though I hate needles. Yeah, wifey doesn't like needles too much either. Um... A new hope gives me hope. We all we all need hope in life. We all do. We all need pajama princess Daisy love in life. Yo, how you doing today, Daisy? Welcome in. Empire Strikes Back. Ooh, episode one and a new hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Daisy, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Since it is, we're going to ask everybody that that pops in today. That's going to be question of the day. Everybody that pops in. What is your Star Wars movie? What's your go-to one? I made a lightsaber at Disney a few years ago. Oh yeah, the custom ones you can you can make, dude. Me and my, I used to get those so much when I was younger. Me and then me and my uncle would like fight each other with them and like really, really, really fight really hard with them. We ended up breaking them over each other so many times. <laughs> just just boys being young boys. Um, Attack the Clones is really difficult for me. I love the actors, but man, for an action movie, it bores the f out of me. Right? There's. I feel like the only good thing about Attack of the Clones is maybe the battles CGI scene fest at the very end. And then um, uh, Ewan McGregor, who plays Obi-Wan Kenobi, did an amazing job. And then uh, Samuel L. Jackson as Mace Windu was pretty good. But yeah, overall, it was, it was hard to find a lot of good things I liked about it. I actually liked Solo a lot. Interesting. I liked Solo. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I liked the Clone Wars series. Oh, nice. D uh, the original one or like the new revamped one, Easy Beasy. I actually really like solo as well nice solo was fun solo was pretty fun post pictures in the discord do it dj actually today is the day we should have the uh the happy pigs game the do it do it <laughs> everything's going to be star wars related today i'm going to make wifey and i we're going to definitely watch a star wars movie i'm a big wookie fan literally wearing my wookie onesie at work and solo had lots of chewy action big wookie fan but sleepy bear is like the least hairy man in the world, right? <laughs> he was telling me he's he's a fan of the clean shave, of the clean the head. He's got the muscles though. He's got the Wookiee muscles. I want a Wookiee onesie. I want a Wookiee onesie too. And then the sixth is Revenge of the Sixth. I mean, I guess that could work, right? That could work. Sleepy must remain hairless. Uh, does he just not like growing out like beard or, or head or anything? Um. I, I actually prefer being clean shaven. It feels really good to be clean shaven, especially. <laughs> hey, sleepy. Does Zeph know what Star Wars is? Yes, I know what Star Wars is, sleepy. What is your favorite? What is your favorite Star Wars movie, Sleepy Bear? What's your go-to one? Do you have a Wookiee onesie? That's the real question. Sleep reminds me of Mr. Clean sometimes in the best way, in the best way, except bigger muscles for sure. 100%. <laughs> but it does just feel like better being clean shaven. Wifey says she just doesn't like like kissing when you're clean shaven, you know? Because like when you're when you kiss, like the first day you clean shave, kisses are good. But then like as the, the scruffs start to come back, it starts getting like sandpapery. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith is a special day and why it's my favorite it is. Oh, what? I'll see your birthday. Wait. In two days, Lord Jukebox? In two days, it's your birthday? Yo, Sleepy, what's your go-to? Movie? Hmm, pro oh, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is good. Return of the Jedi is good. Although, I, I really feel like I don't like the Ewoks. I mean, I like the Ewoks a lot. I just kind of don't like how they were placed in the movie as much. But aside from that, Return of the Jedi is great. Yo, Knights of the Old Republic. So many people have told me... So many people have told me I need to play Knights of the Old Republic that it's really good. I like Scruff. Scruff's good, right? Like just just a little bit. A little not quite clean shaven, not quite a beard. Scruff. 
<laughs> the Ewoks are so cute. I do agree. I do agree. Seem to be a bit older. Dude, Lord Jukebox, if you can stop by for a second, I will absolutely jam out to some happy birthday love on the ukulele for you, my friend. Hell yeah. I think I think the Ewoks are cute too. I just think it's weird how the Ewoks took down <laughs> like the entire empire down there. That was a little funky. Yo, Blutter, welcome in. Zaf you cubing. Blutter what is your favorite star wars movie today is may the 4th happy may the 4th my friend what is your favorite star wars movie that's the that's the question of the day what do you think layla what is your go-to star wars movie he's like any that has puppy tees in it nope no puppy tees for you you out of puppy tees layla takes over you may be let's see you say may the fourth be with you may the fourth be with you wait didn't i say that you say may the fourth be with you oh, wait i did say that did i not say that i'm pretty sure i said that layla did i say that tell fortune i said that okay she says i don't know i don't know um Let's see the empire strikes back yo empire strikes back is really 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 good no i am your father i think that's actually like the most un like what is it called quoted in the wrong way a unquote i don't remember what the term is but like misquote i think in the empire strikes back that's like probably the most misquoted movie of all time because everyone always says it's luke i am your father never says that it's always no i am your father no uh you said happy may 4th just say may the 4th be with may the 4th be with you fortune may the 4th be with you lord jukebox blutter may the 4th be with you my friend update on the ps now it works for my pc so i'll stream bloodborne so yes so some um i think suits was saying like you can get into the piece ps servers and like stream it off of the server i think he was saying there might be some lag though so maybe i'm excited to see what you think about it though lord jukebox let me know how it goes that's really exciting i also do like rogue one for some reason yeah i liked rogue one i liked i liked the ending of rogue one yo that darth vader scene at the end of rogue one come on blutter that was like amazing ball sauce amazing ball sauce <laughs> gotta love the mandela effect right right I'm really happy you at least know this pop culture sleepy bear what pop culture do i not know never mind don't answer that never mind don't answer that yo maggie welcome in dark souls and coffee best way to start the day always big coffee love for you maggie always big hugs for you always painful dark souls love painful very painful that doesn't know who mr rogers i mean is mr rot who else yogi bear dude did you like oh my god did you like seriously <laughs> update this smoky the bear doesn't know the difference between hamilton and ham i do know the difference between hamilton and hamlet hamilton was like the guy on the ten dollar bill and hamlet's the shakespeare shakespeare play doesn't know the essential mario kart characters such as Daisy. oh my god i do know who daisy is i do know who daisy is i love star wars in general not all the movies but the universe and diversity around it yeah it, it's 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 pretty amazing that just such uh, it's really amazing that like writers can just create such big worlds you know same with like game of thrones same with like star wars lord of the rings like it's not even just the story through it like they create this world that they travel through oh no oh no oh no and doesn't know the jetsons i do know the jetsons i i do know who the jetsons are they got the flying cars I will never forgive you for not knowing Princess Daisy. Daisy! Daisy! Love you to pieces. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He Man. Oh, He Man? What? I mean, but He Man is like, wasn't He Man in like the 60s or something? Right? Right? Abeloth is my favorite extended universe character from Star Wars. A broken character that is basically a god Abeloth. I don't know if I know who that is. Was it a Sith, a, a Jedi? It's the first movie I saw in theaters, yo. As a kid, hell yeah, sleepy. May the fourth be with you, Zach. May the fourth. Yo, Zach, favorite Star Wars movie right now. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Want to be a Princess Leia when the was young, but in dark because I liked edgy stuff. And then I was a kid, but it, he doesn't know. I do know who Power Rangers was. I had Power Rangers action figures as a kid. I had the Power Rangers movies. Sleepy's not that old. 
Sleepy, are you? Ooh, no, I'd say 32. I'm going 32 on Sleepy. Yo, Banana Man, welcome in. Happy May the 4th be with you, my friend. Banana Man, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Mr. White! Dude, what is your favorite Star Wars movie, Mr. White? Yo, King Fee! King, what is your favorite, favorite, favorite Star Wars movie, King? What color were the Power Rangers? Red. There was blue. There was pink. There was yellow. Uh, black. Was there was there a black Power Ranger? Was there? A, I think there was a white Power Ranger. Is that if you're grounded? Pfft, I give up. <laughs> uh, thirty-eight. Oh gosh, saying thirty-two probably made sleepy stay. But I I can never tell. I'm just like I, I'm just like. I mean, I'm terrible with ages. Like, you all are pretty much the same age to me. <laughs> Power Ranger, did you know that the Pink Ranger was a man while fighting? Uh, I did not know that. That's interesting. Um, Zeph, you are grounded. I'm always grounded, it seems like. I'm sorry. Return of the Jedi, solid choice. Return of the Jedi is a good one. Hell yeah, Zach. Especially that scene at the very, very end with, uh, with Luke. Darth Vader yeah return of the jedi is a good one can't think of any i haven't watched them all since i was like eight you forgot a color wait which one did i forget black blue red yeah i was thinking green i was thinking if there was a green one but i wasn't sure oh uh, is it like a bright green is it like a forest green yo king geez probably return of the jedi for me king with the red King, what would your color lightsaber be? What would everybody's, if y'all could have a lightsaber, if I could snap my fingers and give all of you a lightsaber, that would actually be very dangerous, probably. <laughs> I'd take no responsibility, but if, yeah, y'all could have a lightsaber, what color lightsaber would y'all have? Yo, purple for sure, Turtle Sage. Yo, Nod, welcome in. Nod, what would be your lightsaber color? Pink, dude. A pink lightsaber, no joke, would be freaking awesome. Not going to lie, easy beasy. I don't have a favorite. They all so good. Mr. White, what would your lightsaber color be? I like purple. I I, I mean, red, right? Let the, let the power of the Sith flow through you, King. Lightsaber would be blue. Blue is nice. I want a light. I want a lightsaber. Avenged, you can have two lightsabers. You are so awesome, Avenged. You can have two lightsabers. And they can even connect together and be like the double one. Do a rainbow one would be pretty wild. I feel like a rainbow one, if it went so fast and hot, it might. I don't know. How would the rainbow one look? Rainbow, if it could be done right, would be pretty dope. I, I would like, dude, a pink lightsaber would be really cool. A white lightsaber would be interesting. Black with a white outline. Yo, that would be pretty dope as well. I'm doing super amazing today. Nod, nod. Today is May the 4th be with you. Nod, what is your favorite? favorite star wars movie yo king always cheers to my red lightsaber brother i i would also choose red because being a baddie is fun bad guys are my favorite in the movies just gonna be honest pink core with an accent lighting yo that would be dope ah ah ahsoka's lightsabers are dope they are white i dude hell yeah White would be cool. Red is, is my favorite color. Blood are turning to the dark side. We have cookies. It's okay. I don't know who you are, but have a good stream. Yo, Supernova, thank you so much for the positive vibes. I am Zeph. I'm guessing you are Supernova. So it is a pleasure to meet you, my friend. Thank you so much for the positive vibes. And may the fourth be with you. I don't watch Star Wars. Hmm, it's okay, Nod. We could still be besties. Yo, Zach, what would your lightsaber color be? Yellow? A yellow lightsaber would be pretty dope. <laughs> okay well before it gets to the top zach what color would your lightsaber be zach quick 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 that works too green yo like a dude green would actually be pretty cool like green like like zeph bot color or like mr white's color that would be pretty i'd go i'd do green too yeah like that kind of like sea foam minty green that would be cool um i would want orange orange would be cool like these are all the cool colors we never see wait there is a green lightsaber it's in return of the jedi and and qui-gon has one okay i shouldn't be so shocked there's a green color 
<laughs> but yeah, like like a seafoam green would be pretty cool. Cool. I'd want my lightsaber to flow through all the colors until I'm fully fighting, and then it changes colors every time it makes con. Ooh, that would be cool. Like every time it's like orange and then yellow and then blue and then red and then purple. That would be cool. Orange would be cool though, Mr. White's Mr. White's color. Whatever Boogeyman's color would be, Boogeyman, Boogeyman's color would probably be. We usually put blue on him. He he usually likes blue. <laughs> How about purple with yellow spots? Best color. That'd be pretty dope, Gonzalez. Yoda. I mean, Yoda. Yoda does. I've always thought Yoda was more of a force user than a lightsaber user. Maybe that's just me though. He is. He is green. I want an RGB one. Just just all the colors right zach it just like changes colors yo avenge had a good idea though when it like hits contact and changes colors that would be pretty cool if you like in modern days you can change the colors to your liking too anyways or make it flash like a christmas light chain i mean right i guess if we're getting a lightsaber in 2021 it's probably going to be rgb we could just be like you know what we're going to be red today we'll click the red color <laughs> we're going to be yellow today we're going to click the yellow color boogeyman all the boogeyman energy always for you nod always for you my friend um i saw that ryman rady g yesterday how was the rest of your stream nod i didn't get a chance to pop into chat um because i was lurking while getting stuff ready for wifey when she popped home um but yeah i saw ryman got a rady that was super super awesome how was your stream the rest of it i said blue not all oh, blue blue would be good we besties now zach's pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie Zach is pretty magnificent, I'll be honest. <laughs> a rainbow stick? Rainbow would be pretty cool, honestly. I mean, we pretty much live in the age of RGB, right? Like, if it, if it has a color to it, we're going to RGB the crap out of it. Do y'all like RGB stuff? I feel like some people really like the most, like, RGB stuff they can find, and other people, like, really aren't super crazy about RGB. Like, especially with building computers and stuff, some people just like no RGB at all. And other people are like everything, everything has to RGB. The fans have to RGB. The power supply has to RGB. The case has to RGB. I want RGB everything. The GPU, I want that CPU that you can't even see underneath the cooler. I want it to be RGB. Yo, King. King, what dude nine month sub we just had a twitch baby oh my god king is it a sith lord twitch baby dude king thank you and so damn freaking much not even just for this sub man but for nine freaking months of sub love holy crap man i appreciate the hell out of you dude what's our twitch baby's name king zeph or or zephyr fink zeph fink I like, I like, I like Zephink. I like Zephink. <laughs> Imagine Anakin having an RGB lightsaber just casually walks into the Jedi Council meeting with a red saber like a madman. They could probably see it coming. Oh, all the Padawan kids, right? Ah, uh, my cat is hiding under the bed right now because of the thunder. I'm sorry, DJ. I'm sending all the positive vibe and yes, all the cat love and the cat jams and everything to you, DJ. I hope the thunderstorm isn't that bad how about a black one which sucks like to be super edgy yo that'd be pretty dope not gonna lie um now can solo and talk to chat at the same time hell yeah nod i'm happy you had a good stream my friend hell yeah now 18 more years together yes <laughs> yes oh my god new baby was just bored i'll take rgb but it is not necessary dude that the the cat kiss emote is like the cutest thing in the world i swear I swear, yo, that Togepi emote is so cute. Ah, Maggie, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I like Zephink. Zephink. I guess it flows in a way, right? Zephink. <laughs> yo, welcome in, Iris. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome in. Happy, happy. I, I got to remember to not say Tuesday, everybody. Help me to not say Tuesday. Happy May the 4th be with you. How's your day going today, Iris? um the trolling we'd have with the color changing lightsabers <laughs> right mace window would be like mm, why do you have a red lightsaber anakin wait why do you have a purple lightsaber only i can have purple wait why is it green wait why is it blue 
we had a lightsaber fight for our first dance yo hell yeah wait today is my wedding anniversary oh my goodness that is super exciting huge congratulations we had a lightsaber fight for our first dance iris i think that is absolutely badass my friend huge cheers can we get some big hype in chat for iris's one year and anniv wedding anniversary yes dj is throwing out the hype hell yeah that is super super exciting my friend big big cheers and big big hype for you so with that being said iris what is your favorite hmm, if no 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 we'll do this question if you had a lightsaber what what color would it be if you had a lightsaber if i could snap my fingers and give you a lightsaber right now what color would your lightsaber be? Almost gave me a heart attack saying it wasn't Tuesday. It was if it was Wednesday, it would have been hella late to work. Oh, uh, because I'm trying to not say Tuesdays. Today is May the 4th. May the 4th. Purple, yo, purple. I mean, purple would be dope. Purple would be awesome. I think Mace Windu actually told George Lucas he wouldn't. Come on, Zeph. I think he told George Lucas he wouldn't be in the movie unless he had a purple lightsaber. Or maybe it was like he requested specifically for it to be purple. I don't know if I've seen a pink one. I think pink is the only one I haven't seen. A pink one like, like Lord Jukebox's color would be pretty cool. Or like DJ's color. That would be really cool. My lightsaber was purple at the wedding. Hell yeah. Yes, he did. Purple is cool. Would you be a Sith? Or would you be a Jedi for everybody? Yo, Mr. White, would you be a Sith or would you be a Jedi? And Zach and Lord Jukebox and everybody, everybody, would you be a Sith or would you be a Jedi? Team Sith over here, a hundred percent. I guess that's probably the equivalent of asking, like, would you be Team Slytherin or Team uh Gryffindor, right? Because Slytherins are the baddies, right? Usually, I mean, I don't know much about Harry Potter but usually siths are or like slytherin's kind of like the 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 sith of the harry potter world right hard q hard question i'd be like yoda a total hermit with high speed fiber internet right mr white i i'm i'm with you hermit like yoda with high speed internet i like that i'm a gray knight but i'm 110 a slytherin a easy bz i'm with you i'm i'm slytherin as well if i was gonna pick a house i'd probably be slytherin Big baddies are fun. What can I say? I want to be a Sith so badly, but in really, to be honest, I'd be a Jedi. Blutter would be Blutter would be like the Sith who's like, I don't know if I can do this. And and just Palpatine's behind him going, do it. Do it. I don't know. Do it. <laughs> I'd be a great Jedi from Kodar, having both parts of both <laughs> both faction as neither are completely right and fall to their own hubris. I agree with that. Team Sith then, since I'm a Slytherin, join the dark side, Avenged. We got cookies. <laughs> Who do you think is tougher, Mickey Mouse or Yoda? I don't know. Mr. White, have you seen Mickey Mouse in Kingdom Hearts? I mean, King Mouse is, is pretty intense, but definitely Yoda. Yoda for the win. It'd be like a cute penguin, which tries to look evil. <laughs> uh, with your like little lightsaber going like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if this is the the this is where I'm supposed to be kind of like in force what was it force awakens who was who's the guy who was a stormtrooper who escaped Poe no Poe's the fighter oh man uh oh what's his name Poe's Poe's the 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 pilot Finn yes yes Finn yes yes Finn you kind of have that like sense of I don't know if I should be here. I don't know if I should be a baddie. <laughs> Y'all remember that Mickey Mouse SNES game where he went up into the clouds? I don't know if I do know that one. I don't know if I do know that one. Hmm. Do you remember what it's called, Maggie? Cute penguin that tries to be evil reminds me of Gun Gunter from uh, Adventure Time. Yo, I don't know if I've ever seen Gunter, actually. Actually, I shouldn't say that, Lord Jukebox, because Fortune's going to add that onto the... Uh, <laughs> Something else that I don't know in pop culture. If anyone is curious, watch Death Battle on YouTube. Way cool nerd show by makers of Red versus a Blue. Gunter. I don't know if I know who Gunter is. I'll have to find it and pop it into Discord. A hundred percent. I'm always down to learn new things. 
because otherwise that would just be a walking meme. <laughs> All right. Dark Souls. Y'all ready for some Dark Souls on Star Wars Day? I know. I know. I wonder if there's actually a PC mod to turn the, the swords into lightsabers. I bet you there probably is, right? Okay. Okay. So today in Dark Souls. Whoop. Not that. Wow. My computer is being super weird let's not do that <laughs> i think there actually is yo iris thank you so much for the epic follow as well my friend i super duper appreciate it thank you thank you um welcome welcome i think there actually is yo that would be cool to see honestly i'd so be down for that hold on let me see my computers my keyboard's being a little funky right now yo sketchy bonito in the house welcome in sketchy how's your day going thank you so much for the lurk as well my friend i super duper appreciate you oh man sorry my uh ah what are you, what is going on over here my whole entire keyboard is like freaking out on me did layla like whack something on it it keeps pressing like the k a million times is it working yet there it goes. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. Rooster teeth. I don't know if I've heard of rooster teeth before. Ah, uh, there we go. Yo, random. Uh, hello. Question of the day is what Adam Sandler's best. Yo, Adam Sandler's best movie, Kiwi. Ooh, that's tough. Billy Madison. Ooh, best Adam Sandler movie. We're asking best Adam Sandler movie on, uh, <laughs> on May the 4th. Hmm. Best Adam Sandler movie. Billy Madison. Billy Madison is good. Uh, Click was really good, too. I do agree. Click was fun. I actually went and saw Click with my mom in theaters. Gonna lurk while I shower. You have a kick-ass shower, Lord Jukebox. Sounds like a plan, buddy. Yeah, the company that makes Red vs. Blue. Oh, and Death Battle Show. Gotcha, gotcha. No Star Wars movies, DJ. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I'm so down. Yes star wars movies y'all all right before we jump into dark souls we're gonna do a star wars tier maker y'all ready for this okay um hold on let's do all let's do the movies because i haven't seen anything else really do they just have the movies they probably don't have the movies so they have the movies and tv shows all star wars movies this one right okay prepare for a war in chat the happy if the answer isn't happy gilmore i don't know what is i mean happy gilmore is actually pretty good Ooh, best adam sandler movie i mean if i had to i'd probably go anger management i really love anger management oh mr deeds is pretty great too and so is happy gilmore i mean happy gilmore is pretty damn good i mean billy madison's great too. i'd mm, i'd probably go happy gilmore if i had to pick one single one i'd go happy gilmore okay but kiwi now I turn the question to you, my friend. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? If we're going Star Wars, I'm definitely going A New Hope in S tier. I'm definitely going Empire Strikes Back in S tier. These are the only two S tiers for me. I would put Return of the Jedi at A. I would put, ooh. Um, I would probably put Revenge of the Sith at a B. I'm going to be roasted so hard for this. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Phantom Menace, I will put as a C. Attack of the Clones, I'm putting as a D. Okay. I'm just being really honest here, y'all. Don't roast me too hard. Or roast me hard. <laughs> Force Awakens, I would put it a B. Last Jedi. Oh, man. I, I, I struggle to get through Last Jedi. I think there's a lot of things that were pretty interesting about it. But, like... I just, I, 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 I couldn't watch it a second time. Halfway through it the second time, I'm like, I, I just don't like it. Um, I have not seen this one, so I'm going to leave this off the list. Rise of, Rise of Skywalker, I've not seen it. Um, Solo was, mm, was it as good as Force Awakens? Mm, like a C.5? C.5? I put it at like a C. Mm, but it is better than Phantom Menace. I'll put it at C. I'll put it in front of Phantom Menace. We'll do that. Rogue One. I mean, 
Ah, Rogue One. Okay. 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 There you go, everybody. There you go. Roast away. Now this, now this is pod racing. <laughs> I don't like Star Wars and I haven't seen all the Star Wars movies, so I can't answer that. No, you are totally fine, Kiwi. It's okay. Or I'm Lord of the Rings. Yo, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan too. I don't know. I've seen all the Harry Potters and read like the books for them. I'm not like super familiar with them though. So y'all, what do you think of this list? Is this blasphemy? Am I terrible? Solo is S tier. S tier. I don't know about S tier. Um, it's C, it's Ron Howard. You haven't seen Rise of Skywalker? Why am I not surprised? I mean, I, everybody said Rise of Skywalker isn't that good though. Yo, Jorben, welcome in. Episode three is S tier, all the other ones D. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I mean, I, I agree. I think Revenge of the Sith, it would go this way. It would go first place, second place, third place, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Oh man, but like Duel of the Fates and the fight at the end even though it kind of doesn't really mean that much like it's still pretty badass okay i'm putting fat phantom menace in the middle here and what's the last one? Oh, i mean i've seen attack of the clones more than i've seen last jedi and last jedi i just i i couldn't do it i just did i really did not like it like at all these are facts i don't see space balls space balls space balls would be s tier Baseballs would definitely be S tier. S tier. Yo, Freak, welcome at how is your how's your computer? Computer is doing okay today. It's 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 chugging through. We're at 82% hard and uh a hot 50% CPU. We're going, we're going. The little blasphemous put Force Awakens with uh Revenge of the Sith. I mean, I liked Revenge of the Sith. And I and Force Awakens was like the only one on, well, I've, I've only seen two of the three, but Force Awakens was okay. I liked it. It was good. There was some good stuff in it. Anything Duel of the Fates has allowed me to create dozens of memes with my friends. Right? Right? I mean, you're not wrong. I've seen Star Wars The Last Jedi. It was good, in my opinion. Yeah, it was... Ugh. I really struggled to like it a lot, Kiwi. There was just so much that was just... Like, the whole gambling planet thing I wasn't into. Um, Some of the, like, Poe in the beginning going like, Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Like kind of this 2020s humor. I was just like, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm quite getting that. The way Luke was when they got down to the planet was not at all what I was imagining Luke was going to be like. Luke is like a grumpy ass hermit and not in like a cool, relatable, fun character way. Um, the whole like Death Star behind them, but couldn't quite catch up to them. But like, that was really weird. Um, the force ghost thing at the end i don't know there was i'm trying to think of something i liked about last jedi and i really just can't think of like anything like there's not like anything about it that even the whole like finn sacrificing himself at the end like if he would have done that that would have gave him like such a good character arc like him sacrificing himself for his friends for his loved ones and then they just like cheaped out and they're like nope he's gonna somehow magically survive like it's okay but you know what we can have our differences and we can still absolutely be friends right yo vocal welcome in yes vocal what do you think of the tier list give me your honest opinions almost a franchise ruining way was good and like almost a franchise ruining way <laughs> i'm eternal says right uh it was kind of halfway between crappy and awful uh, but if you like it my friends it is totally fine we can have difference of opinion and still be besties till it waits till you see rise of the skywalker i have heard so much about rise of the skywalker iris i really i want to see it one day but like I feel like I, I've heard so much about it. It could be the expectations could already ruin it for me. So I got to go in like, just like, we're going to try to be as open-minded and into this as possible. Right. I, I, I have heard so many people say that it is not great. <laughs> so, so Iris, where would you put rise of the Skywalker on here? Would that would rise of the Skywalker also be right here? Yo, James, welcome in James. How you doing today? um force ghost the most powerful jedi dies by force ghosting <laughs> i liked the pork i mean the porgs were pretty cute easy i'm not gonna lie the porgs were pretty cute the fact that the casino scenes could have been cut out and it wouldn't change the story exactly i agree I'd rather watch twilight than go watch all the star wars movies 
uh i have seen tw the twilight series with wifey so that's a that's a a often enough watch unfortunately <laughs> oh man oh kiwi thank you so much for the epic follow my friends super super happy to have you welcome in so far the list looks okay though i do have a soft spot for phantom where would you put phantom where'd you put phantom would phantom be higher for you last jedi is a b rise of skywalker is a c minus Ooh, ooh. what did you what what about last jedi kind of brought it to a b for you what was some good things you liked about it doing okay glad you're doing good today's F. yo i'm doing super super hyped today my friend i am vibing yo that emote is so cute i think wait everybody hold on i just realized doesn't poppy doesn't poppy actually have like a lightsaber emote i'm gonna just spam this is gonna be my emote today everybody the poppy hype i think he has lightsabers yes i mean kind of lightsabers it works the poppy hype that's gonna be my emote of the day oh is alert audio double is it is alert audio double oh it's always on here for some reason hold on let's let's fix this right now it's always because of my go xlr on this exact scene it has it like doubled up here so hold on i'm gonna fix it real quick um system here okay a little sneak peek into the go xlr life <laughs> okay yo easy peasy those ones oh my god easy peasy yes learn from you king oh dude king thank you so much for the epic host my friend better i think better right hopefully better we're writing stars movies oh god i haven't watched the other movies yet only mean clips <laughs> my favorite part was the porgs from the cgi puffins because it was cheaper to turn them into space birds than to cg them i out thank you so much for checking king i super super appreciate it. If anything ever like that is being super funky definitely definitely let me know i appreciate the hell out of you um oh okay iris right when i read that first sentence i'm gonna agree i i will agree the cinematography especially when the the death star or not the death star the the big ship runs into the other one and there's like that great scene that's beautiful um the red salt planet was also beautiful i will 100 percent admit that the idea of the grayness of the jedi actually getting fleshed out luke becoming a more complex character just more depth than i expected but i totally understand why people have feelings about it two directors not in sync yeah that was a very interesting like a bi billions of dollars of franchises hundreds of millions of dollars to create these movies and the two directors like didn't talk to each other about where one's leaving off and the next one's gonna take it that was really weird I feel like that's gonna be a moment that everybody remembers in uh in like just in history you know it's like if you're gonna do have different directors y'all need to talk to each other and figure out the story or at least have like the total story written and then maybe like splice it up in the middle bit uh did you get my question oh did i miss one who's a star wars character in general out of all the movies that you guys oh that you guys dislike who is a star wars character out of all the movies that you guys dislike mm. jar jar <laughs> jar jar i mean jar jar is probably the easy one right disney messed up everything yeah i mean i don't know i was super excited for disney to to kind of get in on the star wars stuff because at least that would mean more movies right but i just wasn't i haven't been super impressed with how they've handled it so jar jar was supposed to be sith lord <laughs> i'm lost right now oh god james it's okay it's okay it's okay that's what killed the last jedi for me they never really dug into the great jedi thoughts so it was teased in the trailers but then they're like jk luke hates jedi and stuff i have to admit the way ryan johnson completely dismantled everything from the pre i mean you're not wrong starfish like every every which way direction you're going you're like i i i did not expect any of this outcome which is maybe a good thing maybe a bad thing i mean that is a thousand percent accurate um <laughs> very fair i had the trailers will lead us to a 180 yeah i hate when trailers are kind of misleading a little bit but i also hate when trailers are very like they kind of show the whole movie in a two minute sequence like the beginning the middle the end at least like with the force awakens trailer going into it i'm like i have no idea what this is about like the trailers did a good job with the force awakens of kind of like you're intrigued but you have no idea what's gonna happen so i at least appreciated that um 
far as the sequel goes i think force awakens is meh last jedi is bad but i appreciate it for simply having the balls to whatever it wanted i despise rise of skywalker though that's just me yeah i i would say i haven't seen rise of skywalker so i probably say like i thought force awakens was good not great not amazing not terrible just good it was it was like exciting to see a new star wars movie and to see where it could go from there but yeah yeah thought of kylo ren was a bit of a trauma queen we all know we all know uh jar jar binks was the real sith lord right all right everybody dark souls time incoming stormtrooper turning into a jedi would have been something i would like to see right i think finn was a missed opportunity finn should have been a jedi you know like maybe finn and ray together teaming up i think that would have been pretty cool in my opinion let me jump away from star wars another question which movie in general that you think they shouldn't have made like shouldn't have remade or just made in general um disney star wars has more or less killed my interest in the franchise i agree it was i mean yeah i feel that same way vocal because like when rise of skywalker came out i just didn't have much of an excitement to go see it so i know that i also relate to that is that a is that a trick no that's a mimic i have immense respect for adam driver aka kylo ren he is a marine absolutely yeah have we been up there i don't know if we've been up there we should probably try to go up there out of my way by the way iris or kiwi um are either of you a dark souls fan by any chance yeah all the disney reboots there's so many they're remaking like every single movie and it's so it's like it's so nostalgia grabbing and i don't know if in a good way i loved around for like 95 percent of the first movie and then she suddenly was a master force user and lightsaber duelist right right wait this was a wall it's not here anymore this is interesting is that a metal pig again is this a metal pig live action mulan was pretty kick-ass i liked it Sorry. no it is not a, you never have to apologize for liking something i'll j i would just ask i haven't seen it myself but what about it did you like a lot i'm down to see it i just i haven't yet look for a crystal golem in dlc oh dlc required item i don't know if i've been here before whoa he's gonna make sure i don't stay here though i have a bad feeling about this i have a bad feeling about this started streaming it two weeks ago did you know it's a hard as fuck game yes yes which one are you playing right now yo there's a bonfire that we can't yo what is this place wow i don't know if oh oh there's two of them two is not necessarily better than one here uh oh um can i like uh okay that should be okay and then we'll just go back down and light the bonfire pumba's angry <laughs> timon and pumba oh no i don't want to do that i want i want estus flask okay all right go back down channel your in a hakuna matata hakuna matata I haven't had my muffin yet matt wait you getting a muffin what kind of muffin you getting king um the further you go in zeph super fun times hold on let's see oh no are they still there let's be real quiet really quiet they're still chilling there look at the little booty look at that booty if i say long hallway i'll just get out right that's all you can do you just oh, he saw me having donuts to celebrate your fortune no way we are like same wavelength i literally was talking to wifey yesterday that after the stream today we're gonna go get donuts so what's your favorite donut what kind of donuts you getting kill it you think we can just the one i think if it's one-on-one -on -one, we should be okay famous last words just always going for that booty the booty smack the booty smack man matt straight up sucks <laughs> um oh iris what so what dark souls game are you playing are you doing the first one are you playing the second one have you played any of them before my wife and i were getting that duncan yesterday with our daughter we're going in in a few minutes what hell yeah Jorben, we just all on the same wavelength. It is a donuts kind of day. Ooh, first one. Hell yeah. How are you? How are you liking it so far? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, what was the last boss you took down? 
just like that. Iron Piggy, not for the win. Ooh, but we got a bonfire. I'm so happy. Can we light it? Will it let us light it? Um, hello, hello, Dark Souls. Um, is it gonna make us take down the second one? Is that what it's doing? Really? Is it not gonna let us light it until we take down the second pig? My IRL name is Matt. Ah, King just revealed his government name. Everybody. Matt Fink has a good name, has a good ring to it. <gasps> Can't light until things in the area are dead. Okay. I guess we're going to have to take down second piggy. The story of what I almost got through to the next, but got raided and died. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad thing, right? That is not a bad thing at all. If there's, if there's a reason to die in dark souls, a raid is a great reason why I think mine is Zachary son. <gasps> Zach. I didn't know that. Your real name is Zach? What if Zach's root? What if Zach's not even a Zach? What if Zach is like a John? And Zachary's son is his second. <laughs> his, his like fake name. You can ass stab him. Oh, like in Bloodborne? Last name son. Last name son. Get good, son. Get good, son. Uh oh. Bacon's about to pork me with we'll time for a work meeting. I'll be back. All right, Iris. Sounds like a plan, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for the lurk. Bet anyone in here can guess my real name. Jordan. Since we're revealing my real name is Jordan. <laughs> Not a full troll. I kind of want to make one now. Zach about to change his name to John Smith 69. <laughs> Yo, golly. How you doing? We all revealing name first names here. Thing boar helmet, dude. We just got a helmet. Yo, let's try it on. A fang boar helmet. Oink oink. Yo, I will say Porto's government name was something I did not expect. Wait, is Porto's name not really Porto? Fortune. Wait, it's not even really Porto. Must have been quite rich. In iron. <laughs> Thank you for the free dad jokes, golly. It's Porat. Is it really Porat? I'm like, isn't that? No. DM do something Zeph not for now. Oh, okay. I will definitely check it for sure after the stream. Easy. It's mushroom. Ah, uh, mu mushroom. Nope. I'm not going to go there. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. My real name is given silent H not uh, bad or here it is bad to me. I guess I wanted to change it. My real name is. Oh, look, a lever. Let's pull the lever. Cheers, everybody, to real names. My real name is Beatboxing to Gangster's Paradise. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. What does this one do? Contraption does not move. I bet you that one takes us. Oh, wow. Okay. Since we're all revealing, I'm actually not a starfish. No, don't say it. That can't be true. You're a beautiful starfish. Wrong lever, Kronk. Why do we even have this lever? Yes. Why do we even have this lever if we're going to die? Am I even going the, the right way, actually, now that I realize it? Like, is this the way to this painting y'all were talking about? My real name is not Blutter. Oh, y'all are breaking my hearts here. Whoa, why did we start here? I got to remember to, like, actually, 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 actually rest at the bonfire, y'all. Don't let me forget that painting the painting are we on, are we on the right way to the painting king i have some dad jokes maybe it will work yo if you got free dad jokes james i'm always down for some free dad jokes is that where you were wanting to go yeah what would you recommend king should we go <laughs> fortune thank you for always being so supportive and inspiring zephy thank you fortune for always being so damn supportive and inspiring a hundred percent ryman reverse right on you thank you incredibly much my friend you are amazing you are magnificent but you need a certain item i don't think you have it yet what item do we need dragon lady feet it's ramona i don't care to reveal it ramona that's i like that name i like that name a lot 
Hmm. I think only one. I think only one person here knows my actual name. <gasps> Yo, Yukina, welcome in. Happy, happy. I gotta stop. Happy May the 4th and Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, but also happy May the 4th. I don't want to say too much. Zeph is Zeph. His real name is XP. Damn it, Turtle Sage King. I thought you, I thought I told you not to tell anybody. You out here telling Turtle Sage my real name. <laughs> Painting is on the lower level floor. Oh, you're going to the library. Oh, okay. Okay. You're breathtaking. You breathtaking vocal. Okay. Will you sing a song when you fight the next boss? It would just be like fortune. <laughs> sing a song. I'm the piano man. Sing a song tonight. Cause we're all in the mood for a melody. There's there's that's a wall. Okay. I know an XP when I see one. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the painting. We'll we'll leave the library for later. Um, I still think you need an item to enter the painting. What do you know what item it is, King? Out of curiosity. And we can check if we have it. Painting is on the lower level, Zeph. Okay, okay, you're going to the library. May the fourth be with you as well. Y Yukina, what you got planned for the day? Actually, Yukina, we were asking this earlier. What is your favorite Star Wars movie, Yukina? It is a doll you need. A doll. Do I have a doll? Do I have a doll? It would probably be a... It would probably be in key items, right? I'm afraid for the calendar, it's days are numbered. <laughs> I like that. I like that one, James. It's going to be a Disney song, one from pre-90 that Zeph probably doesn't know. It's probably... Is it from... It's probably from Little Mermaid, right? Is Little Mermaid pre-90? I think that one's in the 80s, right? It's a doll. Okay. We'll go down. We'll go down. We already got... Hold on, though. Hold on. I just want to light this bonfire to see if I can warp from it. After we light this bonfire, then we'll we'll head down. You allow a tip. I can tell you to go where to go. Okay. You'll have to find out. So let me light this bonfire so maybe we can warp to it. Because I guess some bonfires you can warp to and others you cannot warp to. What? Do y'all know that? Down where it's better. Down where it's wet. I can't read that line as an adult. <laughs> oh, Anda the sea. Oh boy. Rest at bonfire. Is this a warp spot at all? Chamber of the princess? It, this doesn't look like a princess's chamber. Huh. Maybe we can't warp here. Maybe not. Never mind. Okay, anyways. Favorite Star Wars movie has to be episode six for the fact that Darth Vader actually has his redemption with Luke. Best, one of the best scenes in the entire franchise, if you ask me, Yukina. I will definitely cheers to that. Zephyrus, come on. What, what, Zach? What am I missing? What am I missing? Yeah, so I didn't, I got the, or I rested at that fire link or the fire, fire bonfire. Blah, bonfire. So now we'll go down and see if we can find the painting. Looks like Bloodborne is on sale in PlayStation Store. Maybe I will buy it. Everybody. Do you all think DJ should buy Bloodborne? Didn't even know Tommy from Rugrats last name. What? It's Pickles, Fortune. It's Pickles. Right? It's Pickles. Smack in the butt cheek. Smack in the butt cheek. Smack in the... Miss. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was, wow. That was a heavy shield. That hurt. Oh, Come on. Nope, that did not work. Come to me, my knightly friend. Come to me. Down where it's wetter, the music is better. Take my sword in the booty cheeks. Ah, dude. Wow, holy crap. What kind of defense is this? What kind of defense is this? Dude, 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 dude. No, no, not even. Woo, that was way more anxiety than that needed to be. I got a friend whose stream's Twitch name is The Pickle. Really? That'd be a kick-ass username. Wait, you didn't know Tommy? I did know who Tommy Pickles was. I did know. I did know. I just didn't know the last name. I grew... I watched Rugrats growing up. Rugrats was good. Why do fathers take an extra pair of socks when they go golfing in case they get a hole in... 
case they get a hole in one. I like it. Not only should DJ buy Bloodborne, but need to be wearing a hunter uniform while playing. A hunter knows how to hunt. A hunter must hunt always. So what are we in Dark Souls? Are we a hunter? Are we a knight? Are we a traveler? I think we're a traveler, right? I think we're a traveler. Oh, Zeph. Oh, Zeph. Oh, Zeph. I like my boar helmet, though. Do y'all think it complements my outfit pretty well? Should we keep the boar helmet? Fun fact, it's actually Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. Ooh, thank you for got, get Turtle Sage. You got my back. Thank you, Turtle Sage. Hear that, Fortune? It's Smokey the Bear. Or it's it's actually Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Yo, Cage! Happy May the 4th, my friend. How you doing today, Cage? Welcome in. Learned that when I moved to New Mexico, where he's from, and people got mad. Smokey the Bear. I imagine someone just like at breakfast one day being like, excuse me, it's actually Smokey Bear, not Smokey the Bear. Still doesn't fix the facts. You thought Yogi was Smokey. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry my pop culture is not up to snuff. I'm sorry. It's already May the 5th, so I don't have to deal with that dumb Star Wars pun. So here's what we were asking, Cage. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? Am, are we actually going the right way? Painting. I'm going to be looking for a painting, everybody. Help me find a painting. Well, let me look first and see if I can find a painting. A painting should be pretty distinctive, I'm guessing. Wow, that was pretty distinctive on my butt cheeks. Uh, happy Cinco de... Oh, wait, it is Cinco de Mayo as well. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So we have May the 4th. We have Cinco de Mayo. And we have... Revenge of the Six. That was it, right? That is Gwen. That's Gwen, right? That is definitely Gwen. He's the... He's the bossy. And I think those are like Silver Knights. Is that, is that the lady from upstairs? I wonder if that's the lady from upstairs. Who is supposed to be here then? There's a missing statue. Someone's supposed to be on that one. Maybe that's where I go. Um, we'll take, we'll take Ornstein's elevator. Mm, I think I'm supposed to be up there. I've returned from the streaming water dragon. How was the streaming water dragon, my friend? Was it pretty wet? Was it pretty moist? I mean, if there's ever an opportunity. Favorite Star Wars movie? Not sure. I rank the original trilogy pretty evenly and never really had a uh, problem with the prequel trilogy. Never watched the sequel trilogy, though. I've heard it's really bad. I, I mean, I think Force Awakens was okay. But I haven't seen Rise of Skywalker and I haven't seen the other one. So <laughs> I thought y'all would like that. Ooh, yo, yo, this looks pretty fancy schmancy. Helm of favor, yo. This is cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, let's equip this. Let's, let's gain some favor. Uh, favor, I, was it this one? Eastern armor, was this the one? It was very moist, but I feel very clean now. <laughs> it's where the queen wife chest goes because best chest ahead. Is there? I think somebody put that as a uh, gauntlets of favor. Yo, uppercut bear. Welcome in. How you doing today? If stormtroopers have enough courage to keep making shots, so do you. Cheers to y'all. Uppercut, you get a free cheers, my friend. Cheers to that. Cheers to stormtroopers having enough courage to make shots happen so do you oh it's not with that set my bad my bad okay um which one was it oh embraced armor of favor my bad it's it's the gold shiny one right the 24 carat one legs leggings of favor okay we're this is probably going to be fat rolling uh yeah that looked I, that didn't look too bad though actually that seemed pretty decent yo what do y'all think of this set this looks pretty pretty hot i'm digging it a little bloody but we'll roll with it <laughs> um 
Thank you. Yeah, Uppercut Bear. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? We're talking today's obviously Star Wars Day, so we're talking Star Wars. What's your what's your go-to Star Wars set? Let's just go to Star Wars movie. Keep making shots even though they can't hit the broad side of a bar, <laughs> right, Yukina? A thousand percent. I don't know what they got in their blasters, but it just does not connect. Yo, Fortune, thank you so much for the epic host as well. Always, my friend. Amazing chest ahead, everybody. Waller souls, sexy souls. That armor screams, look at me. That's pretty, uh, I don't know. I would imagine like an executioner would have something like this. Yo, Kai, sitting me down, my friend. Let's do it. My legs appreciate you. Ah. Hi, Layla. It's like equip this blaster, negative 300% accuracy right Zeph never forget Han, Han did shoot first Han definitely did shoot first you know the whole thing about that totally changes like Han's kind of character arc just a little bit because it's like did Han shoot first to uh get ahead did Guido shirt shoot first and he's like self-defense a little bit yo Mizuki or cards hold on Layla what are you doing Zuki Arts, welcome in, my friend. How you doing today? Jen, welcome in, Jen. How you doing today, legend? Kai, my friend, how is your day going? How are you doing today? Jen, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Mizuki Arts, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? I really dig The Mandalorian. I haven't seen The Mandalorian yet. Kai, what's your go-to Star Wars movie, my friend? She wants pets. Give all the puppers pets. She gets so much love. She gets all the love. She gets, she's trying to see if somebody's going to fall for the puppy eyes. You trying to see if anybody's falling for the puppy eyes? What? Pa what? You're giving me hugs? <laughs> Yo, Mizuki Arts, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. So happy to have you. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. Go going good so far. Unpopular opinion. I, I, I haven't seen The Mandalorian. I really, really, really do want to see it, though. Been digging the Mando as well. I also really like the new series against everyone else's pick um i haven't seen it we watched like two episodes of it and i think we got to like right where he found baby yoda and we kind of just stopped watching for some reason just because we don't really watch much tv but we got to watch it we watched wandavision and that was that was that was okay that was pretty decent um have you jen has have you or anybody have you all seen the new uh falcon winter soldier one favorite star wars movie family guy space balls right space balls I really liked WandaVision. WandaVision was good. It was it was interesting to see how it started and then second episode and then third episode and you're like, hey, things are changing. Things are changing. Uh, but Kai, you just said you woke up. You, were you sleeping in today? Is today sleeping day? Well, I guess I don't know because sleeping in for me, if you're on like the other side of the world, I could not be sleeping in, right? <laughs> Gotta be Empire Strikes Back. No, I mean, Empire is good. Empire is really good. Spiffy Steph, thank you so much for the epic lurk, Spiffy Steph. I hope you are having an incredible May the 4th. I finished Falcon and the Winter Soldier last week. What'd you think about it? Without, yeah, without any spoilers. Good. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs middle. Yo, Milloyd, welcome in. Happy May the 4th, my friend. Scruffy, ner <laughs> scruffy nerf herder. How does she say that? Like, you scruffy nerf herder. Who's scruffy looking? Uh, I like, I like the original trilogy a lot. How does the moon cut his hair? He eclipses it. Best chest ahead, everybody. According to the note on the ground. That's it. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Yo, Malloy, thank you so much for the epic follow as well, my friend. Super, super happy to have you. Happy, 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 happy May the 4th, my friends. So, are you all uh, Siths in chat? Is our chat Sith or is our chat Jedi? Are, are we a good chat or are we a bad chat? I mean, I wish my chest looked like that, just the chest. I like her hair. She has like, oh, I guess it's not. I was going to say it's kind of wavy, but I think she has like a hood on, right? Mother, that is one. Okay. <laughs> Enter covenant. Yes. Sure. Neither balance. Ring of the sun princess. Yo, I like rings. Hereafter, I, Gwynevere, 
<laughs> painting. Where is the painting? Is there a painting in here? Order of the Grey was my favorite. Why live in black and white? I mean, you're not wrong. 100%. It always seems so fake to me. <laughs> you think so, King? You think so? Looks like she has a great set of personality. Oh my God. I'm just saying I like, I like, I like her hair. I like her. She has nice lips too. All right. Moving on before wifey pops in chat and has some feelings. Do these open at all? <laughs> Big phony. <laughs> Praise the sun, my friends. Praise the sun. Not praise the sun. Damn sun, bro. I have issues with sun, bro. Sun, bro made me eat my dark souls or whatever to, to fix him. Ask her. A, <laughs> wifey, meet waifu. Wifey, meet waifu. That is a, she has like, is this supposed to be like a bed she's on? Or is that like a couch? It looks like a sofa. Kind of like a big sofa couch. Hmm. Anyway, painting. We got to find this. I. It was an accident, TJ. It was totally an accident. I promise. I did not mean to hit Sunny, bro. Uh. Oh, hi, wifey. Hi, wifey. It said on the ground, amazing chest ahead. So I was just doing what the game told me to do. My aunt, when she saw Queen Wifey, was she such... <laughs> Oh, fortune. It's a lounge to be able to poison it with poison arrows. Oh, um, did I miss? Um, I'll have to find poison arrows. Where did we miss? I think we might have missed the painting. I'm not seeing it anywhere. But every single wall in this game, I'm going to hit just to figure out which one, which one is the Luciary. Seth is being on his best behavior. I'm always honest. Wifey and I are always honest with each other. I searched on Google. She's on. Oh, on a bed. That's an interesting looking bed. It's like a sideways bed. Wifey about to use grounded. <laughs> Wifey can also appreciate best chest ahead. You know, we can appreciate the world together. <laughs> There's an NPC in the second Dark Souls that apparently a lot of people would leave suggestive messages around. Ooh. Yeah. The messaging thing is, is both really cool but I could see, I wonder if it has a filter on it. So you can't say like certain things. I feel be using emote chat IRL. <laughs> hey, maybe a sofa. Nobody knows the answer. Hmm. I'll admit even as a female myself, that's an impressive pair, <laughs> right? I mean, we can all, we, oh. wow. We can all appreciate, you know, beautiful things in, in life. I had to go sneak a peek right right we can all appreciate beautiful humans and beautiful friends when we see them it's the uh the look but don't touch analogy right who is oh uh poison arrows all right new goal for the day is finding this painting that is so illustrious and all the dragon heads that seems very decor like oh i see zeph ah i see that i do not need to see that painting where is this painting at hmm so but here's the thing wait a minute wait a minute y'all didn't king say that i don't have the item to even to, i don't even have the item i need for the for the painting so we got to get was it like a doll we need to get the stall, do we have to go somewhere? Hmm. Cause I don't think I, I didn't think I found the doll. Have you seen the happy souls animation about dark souls two? I, I don't think I have cage. Is it similar to like the final fantasy one? It's like pretty humorous. Have you ever left a message? I actually never have left a message. Kai. I never have. I'm, I'm pretty boring. I'm sorry. Should I leave a message? I actually don't think, how do you leave a message? Leave a summon sign. What do you need? Banish? No. I've never, I never did it in Bloodborne or Demon Souls either. Um, uh, do I even have the item to leave us to leave it? Is it in here? Maybe 
Leave a message at the slap. <laughs> I don't even think I have the item to leave a message, actually. So you get the doll, search your feelings from the start. You know this to be true. <laughs> what? I don't remember which Final Fantasy animation you're talking about. Would rather I post the Happy Souls? Oh, yeah, totally. Totally go for it. Fortune. 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 Doing puppy treats. Puppy treats. Puppy treats. Puppy treats. Layla knows what puppy cheats is. Puppy cheats. Happy Souls is worth the watch. Oh, the one I was thinking was the Final Fantasy 7. It's like the animated one that's pretty funny. It's um what the oh four star? Team four star. I think that's the Final Fantasy 7 one I'm thinking of. These in the orange soapstone you can get from the undead male merchant in undead bird gotcha. So I don't think I have the orange soapstone quite yet. All right, Layla. Hi. You're cute. You're always cute. You know you're cute. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. You're getting all snooty nosed over there. All right. Fortune says we gotta leave it. Fortune says we gotta leave it. All right. Happy Souls goes for 15 to 30 minutes, so I don't suggest oh watching it on stream. Okay. Oh, for 15 minutes and 30 seconds. To celebrate today. All right. It's May the 4th. What do you think about that, Layla? Are you a Jedi? Are you a Sith? Would she be a Sith? I don't know. She'd probably she'd probably be a Jedi. She's she's pretty she's pretty wholesome. She's pretty cute. Oh, Khalid, welcome in. Oh, and Breezy always bringing the Breezy hype. How you doing today, Breezy? How you doing today, Liz? And Get it. Oh, so good. So good. That was so good. Okay. And Ellie and Ellie. All right, Ellie. One day, y'all. One day we're going to get Ellie. But every time I try, she gets like sketchy right here. You see, she goes from being excited to being like, <laughs> sup, brah. Next time Zach pops in chat <laughs> or like tomorrow or like next time I'm streaming and Zach pops in for the first time, I'm going to be like, sup, brah. Ellie, come here. Ellie. All right. Get it. <laughs> I do not recommend Dark Sauce as a funny video as well. It's about six minutes and I don't spoil anything after Quaylog. Oh, okay. Okay. No spoilers. We're, we're pretty good about no spoilers here. Yo, Supplanter. Welcome in. How you doing today? Oh, this, yes. Kai, you are right. The dark side always has cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. What's your, what's your favorite cookie, Kai? Man, happy pigs and I. Layla would be the pure heart of a Jedi. You're not wrong, Yukina. A thousand percent. Happy Pigs and I were getting into it because he was he was saying that oatmeal raisin cookies are the best cookies. I don't know if I agree with that, y'all. I mean, oatmeal raisin cookies are pretty good, but chocolate chip is just chocolate chip, right? Chocolate chip is where it's at. Yo, Lord Zombie, welcome in, my friend. Love the username Lord Zombie Fart. That could be pretty stinky. How you doing today, Lord Zombie? Welcome in, my friend. Um, a free cookie. I mean, a free cookie is pretty good. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles are good. I like snickerdoodles. You got the hot dog on your sofa. Ellie's just chilling over there. Hi, Ellie. Ellie's over there. Layla's over here. Change raisins with cranberries. Cran. Ooh, I, I like like dry cranberries a lot. Um, this mac and cheese I'm having belongs to the dark side <laughs> because it's looking sinful. Ooh, God, mac and cheese has. All right. I really need to ask everybody a question here. Case in point, the gaping dragon fortune. <laughs> um, I need to ask everybody a question. Have any of you tried the mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A? Wifey really wanted to try the mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A the other day, and she was saying it was like amazing. People have said really good things about the mac and cheese from from chick-fil-a yeah is it good is it good lord jukebox it is amazing oh no <laughs> oh no is it like really really good i mean panera's mac and cheese is pretty it's pretty bomb sinfully good popeye's spicy chicken sammy mm, popeye's spicy chicken is, is pretty good i'm not gonna lie i climbed up the sofa he's chilling i want to come there and chill with doggo watch this watch this ellie ellie Ellie, 
Ellie, what you doing? Ellie bug. She's just like eyeballing me. Ellie. Nope. She's not moving. I like the mac and cheese. However, it needs breadcrumbs in it. Ooh, breadcrumbs is good. Kind of give it some, uh, some pizzazz, right? Some, some crunch. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I like, I like mac and cheese when there's like some kind of crunch in it. Mashed potatoes from Popeye's though. You know, I don't, I don't know if I've had the mash. I mean, I think I might've had, but I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember the mac and or the mashed potatoes from Popeye's. Any place that's food that could be considered a drug is Chick-fil-A. Dude, their, their freaking waffle fries are like stupid good. I'm just like, what do y'all put in this? <laughs> and how is it legal? Oh, onion bro. Onion bro, do you talk? Onion bro. Oh, there we go. Pretty certain Chick-fil-A does not put sugar in their lemonade. Just crack because it's so addicting. Low Trek. Yeah, we took down um, Low Trek with like the black eye thing. The black eye that was what was it quivering i think two streams ago i'll talk food here people here tummies will yo we talk food here so much i swear onion bro what you got oh, oh. what's on your mind friend food <laughs> you defeated those monsters and oh yeah i'm saying this Catalina hereby commends you take this Oh, maybe do we get the doll here? Tiny beings ring. That is not a doll. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. <laughs> okay. Fatty G's. Okay. Um, you and wifey need to try Popeye's spicy chicken sammies. It's really good. Doggo wants attention. She always wants attention. She is all about attention. Yo, Zippanak, welcome in. Can't say I've had mac and cheese with some of the crunchy, but when you have it with barbecue chicken, yes, it's so good. The doll is not here. Okay, King, we need the doll to go through the painting, correct? Correct? You and wifey need to try Popeye's. I've actually had Popeye's chicken sandwich before. I had it on lunch break one time. Don't tell wifey. Correct, okay. To get the doll where does one travel to maybe not the exact way to get it but like where would one venture to head back to firelink and check on the big crow's nest okay big crow i was trying to get there yesterday but i couldn't quite figure out how to talk to the uh oh think already did he it's always uh just the tip right there he looks suspiciously bright i don't trust it you are very smart for not trusting it that's how these Dark Souls games work. If they look too good to be true, they're probably too good to be true. I did copy it and ready to go. <laughs> Long may the sun shine. Oh, except for the damn Sunny D bro. Sunny D bro and I got, we got feelings. All right, to Firelink we go. To the crow. Who is Zeph outside? Oh, wait, that's the Seth bot. I just changed that command yesterday. So like every time I see it, I'm like, who? Oh, some Sunny D sounds good right now. Oh, that sounds painful on my teeth. That sounds like a lot of sugar. Sounds like a lot of sugar. I don't know. As I'm getting older, like sugary stuff just doesn't really do it much for me. But like bitter, I, I, I love like bitter stuff. Like some coffee right everybody always good coffee cheers Ooh, what gives sunny d its rough texture does does sunny d have a rough texture i thought sunny d was like pretty smooth i haven't had sunny d in probably like 10 years though so not sure it's just like it's fucked up. <laughs> oh breezy that's why you're the best Firelink Shrine. We go into the Firelink Shrine. It is, but it tastes like of childhood. I'm currently doing PB and J with my coffee. PB and J with coffee. How is that? Is that a good combo? I have simply orange medium pulp juice is in my fridge. I'm usually team no pulp. I don't like the pulp very much. I, I don't mind a little bit if it's there, but I usually go with no pulp. No pulp. You been to Ash Lake? I have. I have. We got the dragon bone thing. And now our snaky friend is snoozing. 
I probably know the answer, but could we attack Freak if we wanted to? Not that we'd want to, but could we? I've been finding watermelon juice as a nice refreshing alternative. Watermelon juice. Ooh, that sounds really light and good. Ukina, that sounds really good. We did meet freaking Patches. The sussiest character in video game history. As I've gotten older, I have enjoyed tamarind juice more. I don't know if I've had that either. Tamarind, what is that? Is that like... Is that good? I mean, how else are you going to wake him up? <laughs> Maybe... Hmm... I'm trying to... How do we talk to the crow? Ooh, I do see something... No, I don't think over there. Crow! Talk to me! Talk to me, crow! That is a big bird. Um... Do we go... Hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to use my big brain. Yo, Snuggly Crow, delinquent ghost. Welcome in, legend. How you doing today? Maybe look for his nest. Oh, could there be a nest somewhere? After getting pho, 30 out of 10 recommend passion fruit boba. Yo, fortune. If you get a chance to try passion fruit mochi, it's good. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. Give me soft. Give me warm. When I hear a crow, I think of another character from a different game. I think of uh, Game of Thrones. They'd call them crows. Yeah, crow. A nest. Where would a nest be? If I was a crow's nest, where would I be? Oh, I do see a shiny up there. So we probably can get there somehow. Wait, I think. Hold on. Up here, there's elevators, right? Only their way to get higher up. Exactly, King. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Like this. Do you see those reflexes? Uh. Oh, I don't think we've been over here at all. Um. Wait, is that? Oh, is this gonna? Is this gonna make us do parkour? This is not the game for parkour. Oh. Oh my God, we made it. That was. Okay. We did make it. I'll take it. These are really short stairs too. Okay. Um. Ah. Fuzz great. King calls it. It's my cinnamon soup. Wait, what is that? What is that? Whoa, wait. Uh-oh. Can we not get back up here? Okay, we just got to roll. Whoa, chill. Un Yo, we got a new key. But <laughs> King doesn't like fuck. Zeph sure likes to get high. 100%. 100%. In the game, too. <laughs> I said nothing. I said nothing. What is in here? Have we been in here? Time to do it again. Um, Where is the crow's nest? Oh! 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 I think I see it. Right there. Okay, how do we get there? Um, gotcha. I think we got to take the stairs back up the other way. That's okay. What is in here? Can we go in here? We, oh, this is nothing. Okay. I found it. We found it. You innocent boy. Uh, I'd say not as innocent as, as you may think, but I definitely do have some moments from time to time. My excuse is I grew up in Utah, so... I'm, I, yeah, that's usually my go-to excuse. All right. We got to do this again, everybody. Uh, and, oh, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. That was embarrassingly terrible. Oh, maybe not. We found something. Oh, thank you so much. Fortune cookie. A hundred thousand percent y'all. You all do not know who Delinquent Ghost is. A magnificent Soulsborne streamer. And just an absolute badass friend. Yo, did we get a Morning Star? That sounds like it could be a cool weapon. I'm not sure. I'm not one for tendon or tripe, but I'll get mine with plenty of brisket. Ooh, brisket's so good. Suits here. Suits here makes like just a badass looking brisket. Cracked red eye orb. Yo, what is that? That looks pretty interesting cracked red eye orb 
cracked red eye orb cracked red eye orb cracked red eye orb that sounds like it'd be really good seasoning maybe not actually defeat the monster of the world you have invaded to acquire humanity allows players to temporarily imitate this ability normally limited to the dark wraths of Koth. invade another world that sounds like very spicy seasoning never mind um i love beef tendon i've been putting mine in beef stew Ooh, that sounds good that sounds all this y'all when you all start talking about food it just gets me so hungry what's morning sun i'm new to dark souls uh so it was a morning star i think it was a weapon it looked like it morning star it's like the the ball with the pointy ends yeah yeah a ham they call it a hammer with a sharp spike on its pommel one of the more barbaric cleric weapons that sounds uh i would not want to get hit with one of those okay just a sprinkle of cracked red eye orb exactly just a sprinkle not too much but not too little i'm just sad most pho restaurants don't put daikin in their pho i love daikin so much i don't know if i know what that is I don't know if I've ever heard of that. What kind of seasoning is that? Yo. All right, everybody. Who snores like this? Daikon? Daikon? Who snores like this? Oh, it's a radish. Okay. Radishes are pretty good. I don't. Wifey does. Wifey's a snorer. Hey, he's back over here. Fancy meeting you here. My stepdad and my mom, sometimes my wife. <laughs> my fiance. I was thinking the old fortress. Gates of the old fortress. Is that your doing? Yes. Is it lies, wifey? Is it lies? Is it lies? Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well. Am I fortunate? This of Katerina. Katerina. I like that name. That's a cute name. Katerina. Take this. Take this. Ooh. Do. Did we just get the force on May the 4th day? What a perfect day to get this ability. Everybody, we just got the force on may the fourth day nice nice i'll take it there you are i'll be heading down <laughs> below shortly there's nothing worthwhile up above no worries Venturing is, is he heading back to the fortress i think <laughs> faith build poggers poggy woggies poggy woggies uh fresh ground coffee with vanilla non-dairy creamer please dairy hates me yeah I'm, I'm i'm probably gonna be looking at swapping my milk soon and maybe going like dairy free i'm gonna give it a shot yo jess welcome in how you doing today welcome in jess happy may the 4th oh are we a jedi or a sith always a sith always a sith james are we the baddies are we the baddies hold on and right there oh damn it that did not work ah well that was unfortunate i'm um, doing good how are you doing i'm doing super good today jess today is may the fourth day so jess are you a no 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 we were asking what is your favorite star wars movie welcome back iris welcome back my friend so if i sent your tiktok you need to watch it real quick it's important if you want to send it to me in a whisper uh fortune i'll watch it after the stream we gotta get to this crow nest soy milk and almond milk is honestly amazing wifey's been having um what is it oat milk and she seems to really like it a lot she's probably gonna have words with me about snoring afterwards you know i love you to pieces wifey you know we just we just joke around uh it is may the 4th it's important but i'll watch it on may the 4th doesn't that count oh here we go here we go we're getting somewhere i think we're going the right way everybody maybe let's just try not to fall off the ledge okay there's the nest here we go <gasps> found it almond milk is an easier switch to non-dairy than soy oat milk yeah oat milk is really tasty it is really good 
Did I miss bad batch discourse? I think that bad batch discourse. Bad batch discourse. Is that bad batch? Is that like a, a band? That'd be a cool band name. Germans, we have skulls for our symbols since one of skulls has ever been a good thing. Are we the baddies? <laughs> Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let the hate flow through you. Bad Batch equals... Oh, a sequel series to Clone Wars? Gotcha. Dude, these would make some badass breakfast, right? I'm just saying, that would make a lot of scrambled eggs. Uh, oh, Milka's Pog. I think my favorite might be Empire Strikes. I'm torn between that and Return of the Jedi. Empire Strikes Back is good. Curl up like a ball. Well, before we do that, let's admire this view. This is a good view of the world. Yo, Felzir, welcome in. Absolutely love all the Clone Wars stuff. I've seen the original Clone Wars, but I haven't seen like the new revamped one. Stand up. All right. Are we pro eggs you'd hate for life? I'm guessing maybe do we wait? This is like a waiting thing. Just wait. Patience, young grasshopper. Patience. I have the perfect recipe for those eggs, too. A little bit of cheese. Sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> yes. All right. Where is our crow friend? Oh, there you are. Maybe the crow's pissed off. It's like, you are not one of my eggs. What are you doing next to my babies? Ah, Zeph found out how to get back to the asylum. The asylum? The asylum? Oh, is this taking us? Oh, look at us. We so cute in our gold armor. Is this taking us back to like the beginning of the game? Oh, is this the very beginning? Exactly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, now we coming in like a badass though. Yeah, all these level one enemies, Smackdown's incoming. Don't leave this area until you find the doll. Okay, is this like a one shot to be here kind of thing? And if we leave, then we can't come back. He doesn't know. <sighs> they don't call me Jon Snow for nothing. So the crow is moving to a new nest one egg at a time. I, maybe, maybe. <laughs> level one enemies. I don't know. What was the boss that was here right in the beginning? I'm trying to remember what it was called. Asylum demon? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Um. Oh. Boss battle time? I get, wait, is this the exact, wait, is this the exact same boss from the beginning of the game? Holy crap, y'all. That was, okay. Uh-oh. Um. Uh, we can come back here, right? We can come back here, right? Like, uh-oh, uh-oh. We could, we could still go back, right? Come on and slam and welcome to the jam. <laughs> Getting wrecked. Don't forget, it's about the friends you make along the way. Yes, Iris. Yes, Iris. <laughs> Especially when they smack you into jelly in the ground. What was it called? Stray Demon? I don't think it was called that in the beginning. It was called Asylum Demon, right? So is this like Asylum Demon's pissed off, edgy bro older brother? Oh, damn, he missed that. Damn, you got to get better at that, Zeph. Stray Demon is the new one. Gotcha, gotcha. That was rather unfortunate way to, to start our journey there. Yeah, I like to kill this little brother. I mean, I guess you're right. I would probably be a whole lot of pissed off too. Wow. I would have been pissed if I fell through there. You're Jon Snow. Okay, then I'll be the Witcher then. Hocus Pocus. Fortune always calls me Jon Snow because I know nothing. Uh, come on and slam. Oh my goodness. Someone posted in Discord a couple days ago, um, like a mod of the Smau and Ornstein fight. And they were in like actual... Uh, monster jam uniforms from space jam it was awesome it was like a mod of it it was pretty great if y'all haven't seen it definitely go check it out yeah you saw that video is this so good it, and it flows so good 
Yo, irritable man, welcome in. You're about to fight a boss. Wouldn't you want all of your Estus? Mm. Make a good point. Make a good point. I don't know. Let's go with eight. I think with eight we should be okay. I'm 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 confident. Or cocky. Mostly confident. Maybe a little bit of cocky. When when we ever get Estus plus two before the final boss? Oh, Estus plus two. Right, right, right. There's the person at An Orlando that we can talk to right by the shrine there or the the bonfire, and it has the option to reinforce the Estus flask. You're right. We got to figure that out. Cockiness plus a hundred. Oh no, I try not to be. <laughs> Boss music in Dark Souls is a meme theme now that I like it's dark and scary. Oh, scary and dramatic. You can beat it with one hand tied behind your back. I mean, how would I use the controller though? Like, no, that'd be an interesting channel point though. Like play the game with one hand behind your back. Guts theme is the biggest meme now. All right. I'm not wait. Now that we know where the boss is, maybe we could not fall down that hole. Let's let's give that a shot. These uh not level one enemies, I guess. There's a speed run of completing Dark Souls with one hand, no hits in like four hours. Oh my god. We are still playing Dark Souls after all. Wow. Okay, Jesus. These freaking dude the uh, aggro on these enemies is like plus 4,000 all bosses of course did you forget that I, you got this bro <laughs> well now that I know that there's a hole in the ground there we can um not fall down the hole and uh <gasps> does it seriously like hide itself back up too amazing trap okay um yeah, so uh, maybe there's a bonfire around here. Wait, there is a bonfire. It's over this way, right? We got to find the stall. Find a way to connect the controller to your mind and it requires you to think the button to make it work. That will probably happen in like 10 years. Oh, there's the bonfire. There's the Bonnie. There we go. Um, X curl up like a ball bird. Picks up the, the... Pick you up like an egg. Sneakiness plus 100. Exactly, exactly. Did you forget I did that? You got this, bro. So should we just... Should we... Hmm, should we look around for this doll? Well, now that I know this area... Oh, did they replace, replace the bow and arrow person with a knight? Oh, wait, that's not the shield. Wrong shield. Last night, Squilla Killa finally managed to complete his back-to-back -back DS1, 2, and 3. No damage run. That was intense and insane to see. I, so, I want to give a big shout out to my awesome friend on here, Suits Me. Suits Me is amazing, but Suits Here, Suits Here, excuse me, Suits Here. Suits Here is doing a Bloodborne no death run and I believe did the entire game last night without he kind kind of accidentally died a little bit at the end but in the most hilarious way but pretty much did a no death run yesterday in bloodborne which was amazing to see oh he was like going for the wet nurse <laughs> he was going to fight the wet nurse the very last boss at the end of it and accidentally fell down the hole in in the elevator shaft one death to the final boss one death to an elevator shaft saw that last night oh did he die to wet nurse did he die to wet nurse? I didn't get to see the wet rest of the wet nurse fight. Right all the way there. And then die right there. I'm like, suits, none of us saw nothing. It's okay. It's okay, dude. Items. Okay. Peculiar doll. That's what we're looking for, right? Peculiar doll. Terrible orange. Oh, in the moveset. That RNG. Who are you? Who are you? Ha! Ah! Just the end of my zwai. That's who you are. Apologies, but you were trying to kill me. Crest shield. Isn't that the one that gives us the stamina? It's the knight that gave you the Estus. Oh no. Really? 
the one who gave us our Estus flask right in the beginning of the game? Why was it? Okay, Dark Souls. Why was he trying to kill me? What did I do? He ho oh, he hollowed. Gotcha. He zombified. Oscar. Uh, Oscar's a good name. I like Oscar. I like Oscar a lot. That's the homie who gives us the Estus Gap first. Thank you, Dark Souls, for the damn boulder. Just Dark Souls being Dark Souls being Dark Souls, right? It's interesting, actually. From right here, you can see the crow's nest over there. It's interesting playing through this part again, you know? Like, now that you actually have played through the game, read the message. Wall falling, plunging attack. For, I think it was the asylum. So, wait, there was the asylum demon at the very beginning of the game, and that's the stray demon. So, it is kind of like a like a big brother kind of thing. Could you have just gone straight to the crow's nest? No, because you would have needed the elevators to be operational. I'm like answering all these questions for myself as soon as I say them. Okay, what goes in here? What is this? Rusted iron ring. That is not the doll. We got to find the stall, King. All of us, we got to find the stall. If I was a doll, where would I be? Repel an enemy, yes. We know that. Maybe do we have to fight the boss? Is that what we got to do? Hey, that's pretty cool. Cool little area to hang out. Good question. Hey, thank you for the free Estus. Mm, let's, okay, so now that I know there's a boss, let's do this, everybody. We know there's a boss here. Let's use some humanity. We got quite a bit. Let's use two of them. One to kindle so we can get a little bit more uh, Estus flask. The doll is somewhere, somewhere. Where could it be? Mm, I'm thinking maybe we kill the boss and then the doll pops up. Although why would a gigantic troll <laughs> have a have a doll? I mean, no judging. Maybe it is a, maybe it's a nice doll. Somewhere over the rainbow. Stray demon lonely. Let's, let's bring some good comfort to stray demon. I'll go back to the place you started in the very beginning of the game and backtrack from there. You think so? Yeah, because I remember we like walked in here and ran. I think we actually died the first time I came in here. The second time. Yeah, didn't we have like the broken sword too? Oh, this is actually a good little bonfire here. Berserk trolls, right? Where was the start of the game? I think it was down here. Lortrex armor has two hands enveloping itself as homage to his goddess and her being lovely. Oh, is she the the best chest? <laughs> best chest ahead one. Guinevere. That was her name, right? If you were a doll, where would you be on a shelf inside a cabinet? Tiny places. There's many things. I don't know. I mean, Woody doesn't stay all cozied up there. Oh, can we open any of these? All right. Smackdown. Dude, this is why it hits so hard. I love it. You just got to be uber patient. But you know what? Let's, let's practice our parries. Ah, dude. Oops. Um, now let's practice our parries. Oh, now let's try to practice our parries. Oh, dodge, you fool. Okay. Parry time. Parry time. Parry time. Parry time. Parry time. There we go. Parry time. Parry time. I was a doll. I'd be in someone's nightmare. Easy peasy. What kind of doll is that? One more parry, everybody. Yeah. Boss mode activated. Wish she was a god, maybe. Red Titan Knight Chunk. I will take it. I think that's for like upgrading our weapons, right? They spook me. Dolls can be scary. I mean, dolls can be like on the same level as uh, like clowns, you know? I like to pawi. I like to pate. Yeah, this is, I think this is where we first started the game, right? 
Is there a hole up there? There is. Oh! Oh! Peculiar doll. This is where we started. <laughs> ah, try amazing trap. Pulls out Glock Perry this, you filthy casual. <laughs> Why? This is where we started, I think, right here. Why was the doll there? What is the doll? What is this item? Peculiar. Hi, are you a doll? You're hi, are you a doll? Hi, Layla. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? Okay. A strange doll in a strange dress. We're just strangers in a strange land. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a metaphor for my life sometimes. <laughs> Go on, get down. What you doing, Layla? Go on. Layla, what you doing? What are you doing, Layla? Get down. Get down. Get down. Nobody's falling for the puppies. Nobody's falling for the puppy eyes. Now back to Anor Londo and find the painting. But we got to do the boss, right? We got to we got to kick the boss's booty. All the puppy love. Layla, Layla's the star of the show. She likes to come up and say hi. Yeah, she's the she's the MVP. Pretty sure the entire chat falls for the puppy eyes. I mean, you're not wrong. She's pretty cute. Layla. Layla. Hi. Everybody falling for the puppy eyes. Oh, oh. Hi, Layla. Doll does sound very close to puppy, to be fair. Doll? Puppy? People fall for the puppy. Oh, they love the puppy eyes. All the fur friends, right? Like, they're just the bestest friends, right, Iris? It's all about puppy love. It's all about good friends and good vibes. And taking out bosses and Dark Souls, 100%. I think it was this one we kindled. So this one should give us the plus 10, right? Yeah, there we go. A puppy saved my life. I, you know what, Iris? I will cheers to that because I think that is a thousand percent true. I have a cat, but I would snuggle that pupper all day. All the fur friends, the kitty cats and the puppy dogs and the and the wabbits and all the fur friends. They they really are just such an antidepressant. Like they've helped me so much with depression and anxiety and just I'm having a bad day coming home and just like lying on the ground and like give me all the love puppies. They, they really, 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 really are incredible friends. At a party, had pets. I'd pet them all. Yes, yes. We can all have a pet party together. Cav and Iris and Zipper and Captain Jazz in the house, my friends. Yo, Captain, welcome in, my friend. We would have a puppy party and let everybody cuddle all the fur friends. Just in time to watch me whoop this boss's booty. All right. Wow. Wow. I, well, maybe. Dude. Dude, chill. This is literally like the exact same. This is like the exact same boss from the beginning of the game. If maybe more health, maybe different move set. Ow. Maybe hits harder. But that booty's still the same. All right. Dude, what is that? I'm not even getting a single hidden. Dude, bro. Holy. Dude. Y'all want to talk about terrible RNG. Gasp! You died. Dude, that was that was terrible. That was that was like insulting as a video game player. Oh, right. That was insulting. You made it to the asylum we did, Captain Jazz. Where is the demon at? Because maybe we could get a headshot. I think it's over on this side. That was not a very good attempt at all that was that was really bad oh where's the hole at there it is oh my god oh boy here we go oh i think we're yeah we're backed against the corner here okay so we gotta not be here or be there okay come on what is that attack? It's like a magic attack. 
How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Okay. What the hell is that? It's, it's like a magic attack. And that is a not magic attack. Let's, we got to get close, close to the booty. It's not quite the booty, but, oh, that's going to be a slam down. Yep. We missed. We missed like a plebe. Pleb. Isn't it pleb? Is it plebe or pleb? Yo, Paladin, welcome in, Legend. How you doing today? Happy May the 4th be with you. What is going on with these AoE attacks? I don't even know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Smack of the booty. Always smack of the booty. Oh, we got hit there. The blast thing is the flame blast, I think. I'm de definitely seeing some of the flame. Yeah, dude, dude, that flame thing is, is ridiculous. I don't know about this. Dude, 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 this, this, this thing sucks. Like, stop trying, dude. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. Okay. That's how it is. That's how it's going to be. Luckily, the, the run to the boss is right here, so it's not a bad run. Um, Yukina, I had a scare with my cat last month and had to bring her, oh, had to bring her to the ER vet. Oh, with severe kidney infection for a while. I thought the worst was going to happen since she's 11. Thankfully, she fought it, came back to me, and is back to my loving, bratty, spunky old lady. Hell yeah. I'm really happy to hear that, Yukina. Like, uh, puppies are the best, and I'm sorry, and, and just fur friends, like, they are the bestest friends, and oh man, I can't, can only imagine when something like that happens. Ah, oh, I'm really happy. Nothing bad happened though, Yukina. Hello, how's the stream been? Yo, Paladin, we're getting some, we're getting some bosses taken down, we're exploring new areas. It's been really good today. How's your day going today, Paladin? Welcome in. Oh, and Lord Jukebox, dude, to help relax before the boss fight. Thank you so much, my friend. Stray demon thick. He's <laughs> mad because you killed his brother. I'd be mad too, so I get it. I get it. Layla's just up here. She's like, I'm giving you all the puppy vibes. All right. Right here. Round three. It's just this drop down takes off immediately like half of our health. So. All right. Oh, did the little, the damn little enemies popped in. All right. Dude, what is that? Oh my God, look at those butt cheeks, everybody. Oh my God. Those are like booty cheeks if I've ever seen them. Le yeah, Layla, you wanna see the booty cheeks? What do you think of these booty cheeks, Layla? They're pretty bootylicious, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh-oh. It's like every time he hits, it's like an AOE attack, which is very interesting. Oh my God. Just that whole, these are, they made him cheeky. Oh, we're going to get smashed by the butt cheeks. Okay. Uh-oh. Magic attack. We're doing a good job at kind of avoiding it. This has a lot of health though. This is a tanky boss. I can't see nothing. Where are we at? Where are we at camera? Oh, AOE attack. Okay. Hit for the boot cheeks. Amazing cheeks. Ahead. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Ow. Flame blaster ahead. Heal, heal quickly, quickly. All right. Oh no. That attack is ridiculous. Dude. Oh dude. Whoa. No. What the one hit? I'm gonna just drink my coffee. I thought we were doing really good. I thought that was gonna be it. That was a blasted attack. When in doubt, aim for the cheeks. Yes. When in doubt, aim for the cheeks indeed. Ah, uh, I mean, it's hard to miss these cheeks. These are very cheeky. I'm almost wondering if I should, oh my God, try to not die. Okay. I feel like being closer to him, the better. The closer we are to the stray demon, the better. And then run away for the, for those attacks. We got to get up for one. 
come on hit hit the cheeks hit the cheeks oh he's gonna sit on us i mean normally i never mind <laughs> dodge oh god that was not a good dodge okay uh-oh heal double heal double heal double sunny d okay patience is our friends here everybody and actually hitting and making contact oh boy oh boy this is this is bad this is i don't know if this is the one come on you gotta believe zap all right smack that's what we got to do roll and then run up with the smack uh-oh okay we really got to be careful there i think Seth really likes this boss i don't know this is an an interesting boss shall we say music though okay it seems like that attack goes right in front of him so if i stay behind maybe that fire blasted attack won't get me well uh, maybe not maybe not um it's just we it's an aoe attack that we gotta try to run back from ah oh, dude it doesn't help when you can't even make contact okay this is a i'm not gonna lie everybody this is like a bad round i don't know if this is the one okay well, not with that attitude is it gonna be okay uh smack uh-oh roll roll yes okay one hit and roll back you got this thank you lord jukebox we got this all of us together uh-oh roll back it's that blast of a fire attack it's tough it's a toughie where are we at i can't see nothing all i see is booty cheeks it's not a bad sight but <laughs> this is i don't know about this boss like they use the exact same model as the asylum demon that feels a little feels a little cheap is that just me it would have been cool like like this boss is cool but like it would have been cooler if it was a totally different design maybe that's just me though unless maybe they are brothers or siblings how are we supposed to know that though unless they tell us dark souls actually telling us something <laughs> oh wow smack down with the booty cheeks all right all right all right i guess this could be the round okay oh well always gotta say something oh god zaf you you fool dude dude oh my fucking god dude dude he just smashed me right in my freaking head i lit I don't I, I I I I I feel like I just lost all of my streamer respect right there. Can you see how much health he had? We was one hit away. One single hit away. What the hell? I'm feeling things. I'm feeling choke of the year. Damn it, Captain Jazz. That was ridiculous. He like smashed my face right in. Oh. I typed GG's in advance. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Juicy, welcome in. How you doing today? Happy May the 4th. I, I'm doing wonderful today. My poor night in the game though. I don't know if I could say the exact same. Yo, Liz. Liz. Liz! Oh my goodness, y'all. Are we being raided by Liz Sama? Welcome in, raiders. Yo! Welcome in, everybody. 
Liz. Oh my God, we've been raided. Welcome in, Legend. How you doing today, Liz? Welcome in, Raiders. For anybody new here, my name is Zeph. We dying a lot in Dark Souls as per customary for this franchise. So, <laughs> but Liz, how you doing today? Hold on, can we get an epic shout out as well, my friends, for Liz Sam of 13. What were you playing, Liz? Sir Reese, welcome in. Acto, welcome in. Good to see you again, Acto. B-Boy Hero, welcome in, my friend. How y'all doing? How was your stream? Praise the sun. You know what, B-Boy? I think that's why we just died a moment ago. We did not praise the sun nearly enough i got you liz we got a big shout out for liz sam hold on what were you playing what were you playing if my computer wants to catch up yes all the poppy power all the poppy power last scene playing returnal yo tell me about it everyone is saying they've been loving it so far what have you been thinking about returnal so far yo sir reese thank you so much for the follow my friend super happy to have you welcome 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 praise the sun always trying to praise the sun see how how far it gets us some straight demon info i saw you got to be close to him think he does the flame yeah, yeah yeah i think i got it james i just got to give it another try so yo whiskey prince welcome in whiskey prince how you doing today i think you would love it Zeph. so a lot of people were saying it's um it looks really cool some people were saying it takes it's like pretty unforgiving does it seem pretty hard liz were you dying a lot in returnal as well i've watched seconds of it it's hard af <laughs> a lot of people have been saying it's really 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 hard yeah is it like um like dark souls hard is the same kind of like if you die you got to go collect your stuff again and then if you die again you lose it but returnal does look really really cool a lot of people have been asking if i'm like about playing it it's been taken over twitch recently let's see it's a roguelite hard interact like like hades i saw a little bit of it and it didn't look like Hades it kind of looked more third person right um see when you die you start from the beginning ah with nada okay some of the Dark Souls influence in there hell yeah by the way everybody y'all if you do not know who Liz is Liz is an absolutely outstanding streamer an amazing friend an absolutely always just filled with positive energy and good vibes so y'all my friends if you could do me a solid and go to Liz's channel and just drop an epic follow if you have not done so already and be sure to check Liz out when she's streaming live an absolute just she's great she's amazing she's a wonderful 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 friend so definitely big big love thank you incredibly much for bringing some friends over bringing your community over it's nothing but big love and big vibes for every single person and may the fourth be with you liz we were talking a little bit earlier about favorite um we're talking a little bit earlier about like favorite star wars movie do you have a favorite star wars movie at all liz yo b-boy hero thank you so much for the follow as well so happy to have you welcome in my friend um sort of like hades and gungan yeah gotcha 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 hold on layla you want to come say hi to liz say hi layla's sending all the love she always love she's just nothing but love and good vibes always yeah this is layla she bigs love i'm a big fan of the original trilogy oh, okay do you have a favorite one i my favorite one is a new hope so the very first star wars ever that's still probably my go-to watch all the time layla hi 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 layla she's like i'm layla i know my name i'm layla <laughs> she's pretty cute she's adorable all right we were just fighting a boss and oh liz oh liz i just died to this boss and the boss had like two percent health left it was the choke captain jazz said it was the choke of the year so oh, i got some big redemption i gotta do so send me all your positive energy everybody send me all the good vibes let's take this boss down once and for all i think this is round five that is the worst right literally like two percent health by the way everybody best booty in any game i've ever seen so just a heads up this is a very this is a booty if you've ever seen one like look at those cheeks look at them booty cheeks we're actually doing pretty good it's just we got to be aware of this you have the patterns down though so it's all good right captain jazz we got this all the good vibes all the good vibes and that attack you got the force choked on star wars day exactly oh almost got hit there oh epic redeeming the puppy treats 
let me take down this boss and we'll do puppy treats absolutely epic a hundred thousand percent y'all like puppy treats layla likes puppy treats she's a big fan all right starfish yo the beautiful starfish always bringing beautiful vibes all right we got this just let's not get our face sat on um oh dude i got hit right there really oh this is how we died last time dude that is totally how we died last time dude dude what the fuck is that attack from a hundred percent to zero percent in the most bs effing way dude 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 that is puppy treats let's do some puppy treats let's let's do some puppy treats puppy treats puppy treats puppy treats lolly lichen just it's after the puppy treats this is stupid boss what the hell is that like quad triple attack there that's bs they should call this boss thick demon <laughs> all right epic shall we do leave it the passive rage you saw nothing you saw nothing <laughs> try light attacks instead of heavy attacks since you can spam more of them maybe we should try that lord juke box i'm usually the the go for go big or go home and it seems to be getting me in trouble always on top of it layla being layla layla being layla okay layla oh layla all right Puppers are gonna get massive treats at this rate. You leave it. Look at her. She's like, you making me leave it again. I do the go big or go home a little too much myself. <laughs> right. Like, I mean, if you're if you're gonna go in for the attack, you know, go big or go home. And it always goes wrong, right? <sighs> at some point, I'm like, maybe I'll just go for the lighter attacks, but I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yo, Dark Phoenix, welcome in, Phoenix. How you doing today? May the 4th be with you my friend how's the how's your day going look at her oh that flinch did you see that flinch mm. she's so good she's so good she's so good layla stares at chat soul ellie catches and leaves boogie stares into Zef soul yes zipper that's so facts and Oh, you're so good, Layla. You're so good. Ellie, Ellie. All right. How's it going? I'm good. Thanks. Hope you're doing. I'm doing really, really good today, Phoenix. We, we're dying in some BS way to this craptastic boss. But aside from that, I'm doing absolutely stellar today. Dark Phoenix, what is your favorite Star Wars movie, my friend? And Ellie, get it. You see that dash up? She's so good. She's so good. Um, yes, I'm having a really, really good day today, Dark Phoenix. So I finally reached Manus. Manus. Um, I think we're on Stray Demon right now. And then we just got epically raided by legendary Liz Sama. Uh, what, like 10 minutes ago? So Liz bringing over all the love. Have you ever heard the song Layla by Derek and the Dominoes? Yeah, that's actually where we got Layla's, um, that's actually where we got Layla's name from. <laughs> Yo, Felzir, thank you so much for the epic follow, my friend. I appreciate it. Welcome in, Fel. Hope you're having an absolutely amazing May the 4th. We're just going to be uh, May the 4th everybody today. You the legend. No, you the legend, Liz. 100% you the legend. Nothing but big love and big hugs for you, Liz. You're amazing. And seriously, y'all, again, if you don't know who Liz is, definitely go drop Liz an epic follow. Get to know Liz. She's absolutely amazing. You will not regret it at all, my friends. Big cheers. And we got to take this boss down. I'm this boss is a uh, has out. What's what's the word for it? Outlived his welcome. All of us are legends. Yes, you are so right, James. You you are a legend. Starfish is a beautiful legend. Liz is a legend. Zipper, Dark Phoenix. That enemy right there is not a legend, though. You got this, Seth. I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm feeling it in my soul. Let's just not get cornered. Please don't get cornered. And these enemies don't get hit by these enemies. That would be hilarious as we just got hit by the enemy. I told us not to get hit by it. We just got hit by the fire shockwave. Oh, my God. 
dude that attack all right here <laughs> all right how are we doing this we going in for light attacks right heal that did not look like a light attack zeph oh smack those cheeks that wasn't too bad that was a good attack all right we'll go for we'll try lighter attacks just to kind of see double uh oh and dodge nope we didn't dodge quite effectively sweats i know i'm sweating too lolly dude i'm really sweating that attack sucks i don't like that follow-up okay dude oh sweat right there for real dude chug 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 the sunny d chug 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 the sunny d come on come on smacking the cheeks hard uh-oh uh-oh and dodge okay i'm getting the attack patterns down it's just a matter of time now uh-oh okay go in for the big attack okay go in for the big oh he's doing the same thing again go in for attack what is he doing i really don't know what he's doing i really don't know what he's doing are we just like stuck in an endless rng fest here what 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 are we doing stray that was interesting okay but i, I mean i'll take it oh uh oh uh oh we're about to get yep just put his butt cheeks on my face and not in the good way oh oh dude uh ah dude that attack sucks uh oh we're in a corner dude that's what we get for being in a corner no 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 uh oh okay don't freak out zeph you got this you got this double du double chug double chug oh yes he's gonna hit again i think he's gonna hit again all right we gotta get over this way roll back go in for a hit that kind of works oh god how did we not die there okay dude we got hit right there we didn't need to get hit there that was a dumb hit i don't like that one. Oh, where we at dude i can't oh damn it Zeph, move dude okay heal oh shit that's our last sunny d all right no more mistakes no more mistakes just <laughs> oh god this enemy okay smackdown hit smackdown hit uh-oh uh-oh dude zaf okay we didn't get hit there okay 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 don't overthink it don't get lost in your head no we're getting lost in our head you got this okay smack the butt cheek oh dude how did why did that hit me that that should not have hit me i disagree i disagree no no zaf no no oh my god dude a second choke no 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 what the f dude i'm so jinxed today dude i dude i am getting like ridiculous what is going what the f is going on i know what even i think so captain jazz i think being locked on did screw me a few times you know what you know what you know what would help you know what would help i'm just i don't even care we're we're just going to uh this is what we're gonna do everybody this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do zach are you laughing at my misfortune i'm just gonna get more estus flasks because it's right there all right zipper i think that's a good idea all right i think if we have more estus flasks we'll do it we got this i definitely think being locked on did screw us over a couple times time to clap those cheeks into oblivion mountain border you absolutely know it my friend i have to head off for an appointment good luck seth liz thank you incredibly much again for the raid i incredibly appreciate it i hope you have a magnificent rest of your day um if you want to farm humanity you should check out the dlc 
yeah i definitely think we'll want some more humanity just so we can like kindle all the bonfires probably you got this i'm feeling it this time everybody no excuses but seriously thank you incredibly much for the raid i really appreciate it you have an amazing rest of your day you legend all right booty cheeks of the year that's the the fire attack going for a whack yes definitely being locked on is is hurting us in some parts not there though all right where you at i feel like we gotta wait for stray to attack like right here and then go in with a hit and then oh dude dude that was why are you rolling why are you rolling what are you doing zeph zeph what are you doing dude dude no excuses play like a champ you got this i'm actually i'm feeling good well was feeling good come on dude dude that fire attack sucks that fire attack is just going to ruin me it's gonna ruin my dark souls career <laughs> okay where are you at stray and don't get smacked down dude you just got smacked down Seth what the dude come on I love how I'm telling myself not to do something and then like immediately it happens wait dude what are you doing there come on I'm like so zoned in on this, Mr. White. I'm like, I'm leaning into this. This is the one. I, I have so many Estus flasks. There's no excuse this time. Come on. Come on, Stray. Oh, yep. That's the move. Run away. Okay. It seems like locking off and running away. Good. Or just getting exploded all over on. Oh, why did mm. I have so many feelings about the rolling in this game? Okay. Doing that again. Smack of the cheeks. Get your somebody. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> there could be a lot of that with this boss all right don't overthink it don't get cocky go for the cheeks and oh all right we're gonna go for two double lights two double lights did that do more than the single strong attack i think it might have it did do a little bit more okay run run this way locking off okay that's that's the key when he goes for fire attack hit lock off and just run behind him all right i'm just saying zeph if you die again you give up dark souls forever <laughs> oh he's doing the thing again oh what what was that okay smack Whoa, where are we at? Where are we at? Come on. Come on, Zeph. Come on, Zephy. Come on, Zephy. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Final, final hit. Give it to me. Damn right, victory achieved. Damn right. GG's! GG's! now save us <laughs> oh my god that was that i i felt like <laughs> yo captain jazz thank you for the bitty love my friend hell yeah cross the fish welcome in happy may the 4th let's go everybody i feel like i was getting caught in my head with that one that one should not have been what was that like six attempts that one should not have been six attempts that should have probably been like three i was getting lost in my head on some of those so but it's all good another boss down hell yeah ggs let's freaking go what what i will take it 
What did y'all think about that one? Was that a tough boss for all of you? Did y'all struggle with that one as well? Oh, did we get a Titanite slab? Did we? Titanite chunk slab. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, um, is this like the blood st the blood rock in Bloodborne? Is this like the the last of the level up weapons? Yeah, because we got shard, large shard, a chunk, and a slab. What is your upgrade on your weapon now? I think we're like plus five. Yo, okay, so yes. So then we should go back to Zeus and get some level ups. I can go to work now. Happy now. Have a fun day, everybody. Zipperneck. Thank you so much for hanging out and popping in and giving love you legend. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day at work. Thank you for the good vibes on that boss. Love you to pieces, my friend. You have a kick-ass day at work. All right. Is there anything else for us to explore here? Um, actually, we fell into a hole. How do we get out of here? That would probably be a good first question. I mean, we could use a homeward bone unless okay yeah i'm like there's got to be a ladder somewhere anything over here so i'm guessing it's time to upgrade the zwei i like a stronger weapon you can go back to crochan 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 i love it crochan anything over here any illusory wall nope okay um, wait, do you have the large ember in your key items? Large ember. I have the enchanted ember. I've been giving these to Zeus, though. Starting to like this game now. That's the feeling, James, is like, it's definitely a tough game. But once you overcome it, it's... It's a good feeling. Wait! Was this at the beginning of the game? I think I remember... Oh, so we saw the demon in here at the very beginning of the game. Mm. It is a great series, yes. It's definitely tough, but there's a lot to like about it. It's very, what's the word for it? It's very rewarding. That's the word. It's very rewarding. You should be able to upgrade your weapon for sure to at least plus 10 now. Hell yes. And have a blast. Whichever Souls game you play first. If somebody wants to play Bloodborne, or, well, if somebody wants to play a Soulsborne game for the very first time, what would be the first Soulsborne game you'd recommend somebody to play? First boss of this game was trying to bail out his bro. Maybe I have come for you, bro. Who is this puny little human with a broken sword trying to attack me? I think you might be right. Dark Souls 3. You would go Dark Souls 3 as the first one. I would recommend Bloodborne. What about everyone else? What would you recommend? What if, if someone's like first, first Soulsborne game, what do I play? I mean, I would definitely recommend Bloodborne. Because if you go Dark Souls 3, then when you go back and play Dark Souls 1, I feel like it would be clunky, right? You'd notice some things you didn't like. Whereas if you went Dark Souls 1, 2, and then 3, or even Dark Souls 1, then 3, it wouldn't be as jarring. First Dark Souls, as much as I love DS1, it's really punishing compared to the others. Really? You think so, Lord Jukebox? You think it's like more difficult than like Dark Souls 3? I think Dahlia was saying in Dark Souls 3, you start out being able to warp like from bonfire to bonfire right away. So that would be really nice. Bloodborne or Neo? If you, in, if you go modern, you'll get spoiled. Hell, throw, uh, throw them on Demon Souls. Start at Demon Souls and work your way up. Knowing the bosses first and attacks is my strat to defeat some bosses. Knowing your enemy gives you more of an advantage. Right. I agree. I agree. I wouldn't pick Bloodborne as the first one since transition to Dark Souls might be harder. That's a good point, Epic. It was definitely very jarring for myself going from Bloodborne to Demon Souls. So that's a good point there. Um, I feel like Bloodborne is too fast in comparison to the other. So if you start there, you're going to have more of aggressive play style. That is a, those are really good points, actually. Just don't start with Sekiro. <laughs> Maybe Sekiro is the last one. Because Sekiro is more parrying, right? It's like the ultimate parry game. BRB dinner's ready. Sounds like a plan epic. Hope it's something delicious, my friend. Dinner sounds yummy. I'm supposed to take wifey to a uh, donut place after the stream today. Do y'all think I should hold up my end of the bargain and... Uh... Ah, no! 
Dude, that, that's what I get for questioning wifey, right? This game is like, oh, you're not going to take her to donuts? Yeah, we'll just kill you right now. <laughs> well, you lived. It, it, it gave me another chance. It's like, you might want to rethink what you were just saying, Zeph. <laughs> The, the fates of Dark Souls. Sekiro is the only game that I legitimately rage quit. Really, Captain Jazz? DS is tougher, in my opinion. You can break, blur break Bloodborne early on with the saw blade you pick up. Yo, saw cleaver for the win, right, Dark Phoenix? Is saw, is saw cleaver your go-to weapon? What is all of your go-to weapons when you play the games out of curiosity? Wifey can hear what you're saying. Wifey's, wifey's everywhere. Wifey hears everything. At least she thinks she does. You already done with that area? Damn, yeah, we working. We getting some work today. Where is, where, which one is it to? I think Undead Parish. I think this is to Zeus. So about that, they reduced the day's open. So we'll have to go Thursday. Oh no, YV. It's okay. Today's going to be our chill day. So maybe put some uh, Twitch streams up on TV. Do some work. Kirk Hammer. Kirk Hammer is pretty good. I like Kirk Hammer. But the PB&J is back, yo. It's, wifey, how would you explain the PB&J donut to everybody? It's so good. It's so good. It's like, it's a donut with jelly in the inside. So just a jelly donut. But they put like, what are they? What is it on top of it? They put like peanut butter, habanero. Yeah, it's like habanero jelly and like peanut butter. It's not peanut butter. What is it? Like peanut butter flakes or peanut butter... Ah, what is it called? Peanut butter, peanut butter powder. That's it. Yes. So it's like a habanero jelly donut with peanut butter powder on top. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to be an asshole right now. I'm going to show all of you this delicious donut and you all are going to hate me forever for it. Cause it is that good. Blue star donuts, blue star donuts in Portland, Oregon, my friends. Let's all go to the donut place. Starfish is picking us all up. We riding in the star, but starfish, <laughs> the starfish bus. Yo, look at these donuts, everybody. Disrespectful. I'm sorry, but look at these donuts, everybody. This is it. So this is all peanut butter powder. And inside the donut is habanero jelly. I start my diet today, you monster. Mr. White, I'm sorry. But it is so good. It's so good. Yo, uh, this uh, is this one. Which one is this one? Does it say? Our donuts. I'm about, I'm giving Blue Star all the shout outs because they're so good. Blue, berry, bourbon, everybody. Everybody. This is like the best donut I've ever had in my life. This is literally the best burn bourbon, <laughs> best donut I've ever had in my life. Mexican hot chocolate one. Ooh, ah, I'm not a lemon and key lime person, but oh, raspberry rosemary. These are the best donuts you ever have in your life. Ban Zeph, Ban Zeph, I need that now. It's so good. This one. Okay, how would they say it? Shell is filled with juicy and Marion berry compote kicked up with the faintest hint of habanero pepper it's then tossed in our special peanut butter powder which then which when devoured melts into your mouth and reconstructs into the ultimate fluffy favorite from childhood yeah it's 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 good it's very good it's a whole lot of good why did you do this to me those are like ten dollars each no i think they're like how much are they, wifey? I think they're like $3 each. They're definitely spendy, but they're very rich. So it's like $3 for a donut. Maybe it's like 3 to $4 per donut, but you eat half of one and it feels like it's enough. They're very rich. Well, okay. uh, I'm sorry, everybody, but they, they, they are very good. I like me some donuts. I'm a donut fan. If you can't tell them up by my belly. Gotta head out. Have a great stream, man. B-Boy Hero, thank you so much for coming in with the raid, my friend. It was an absolute pleasure hanging out with you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and nothing but big love for you, my friend. You kick ass out there today. Hell yeah. I'll be seeing you so, be how do we upgrade our Zwei? Well, you need Modify. Oh, you just gotta read. <sighs> Okay, so I'll pop in next time. Big homie sounds like a plan, B-boy. Me and my tummy growls like a monster in food. So here's my question, everybody. Help me out. Help me out. 
Should we... What should we do for the Zwei? I'm guessing Divine makes it like a magic sword so we could take on the, the Skellies, right? Yo, suits me the legend popping in with seven month sub love. <laughs> Thank you so damn much, suits. Dude, how's your day going today, suits me? Welcome in, suits. Steph getting beefed up now. <laughs> Need a stronger for sure. Um, dude, love your face, suits me. Thank you so much for the epic sub. Yes, big shout out for your legend. Oh, you just got to read. What a mood. It's so true, though. Raw, someone was saying Rawzwai is like it boosts it to level 10, but then it cannot go past that. Is that true? It's going, it's going. Hopefully going good, suits. Hopefully going really good. Suits, may the fourth be with you. We're asking everybody today, what is your favorite Star Wars movie, suits me? I saw stick to base damage, not divine. Yeah, so here's my question, everybody. Should I do Zwai plus six? Or should I do Raw Zwai? I haven't looked any Google things up on this. What 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 do y'all think? Gotta go now, dude. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. James, you have an awesome rest of your day as well, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate you, James. You take it easy out there. See, I'm doing an important... Let's see. Imprompt. Hold on. The damn... The... 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 the uh, Zeus constantly nailing is gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> we should do base version. Favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, favorite Star Wars do movie. Don't do raw. Don't do it raw. Oh, okay, yes. Moving on. Higher the better. It's all about that D damage. <laughs> I think you can get it to like plus 15. Um, higher the better. It's all about that damage. Okay. So we should do we should do the plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine. We should do it that way. Star Wars 3 Revenge of the Sith was actually my first Star Wars movie, and Hayden Christensen was something else to my teenage eyes. It's He's got the hair, right? Uh, I, I I am commenting nothing on that, Starfish. The space balls are Space Jam count? Yo, I mean, space balls. Absolutely. Space balls is great. Okay. Um, so we'll do plus six then, right? We'll go this route. We'll go this route. Plus six. Is that it? Where is plus seven at? Wait, where's plus seven at? Is it this one reinforced? Does it like shoot it back here? Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's like the dividing off point. Okay. So it's like you got to plus five. Now you can do these. If you do plus six, it brings. Okay. I gotcha. That's what I say. All right. Well, I'm down for it. Let's do plus seven. Dude, how, how far can we go? Oh my goodness. Yo, plus nine. Oh my God. Our weapon is going to be beef caked up. Uh oh, does it go back again? Where you at? Zwei. Wait, wait, where's Zwei plus? Wait, where, wait, where'd it go? Where's Zwei plus 11? It disappeared. Wait, why did it disappear? <laughs> we getting leveled up one, one upgrade at a time. <laughs> Yo, Mountain Border, thank you so much for the bitty love, my friend. Playing the Pokemon level up, hell yeah. No, you need another Ember. Oh, okay, to go to 15. 15 is the max, right? That's a whole lot of damage. We about to be smacked. Dude, how easier would these bosses have been? How much easier would Smao and uh, Ornstein and the Stray Demon been? Um, if I would have just upgraded my damn sword. Where do we get the other Ember at? I do have this one, though. What does this Ember do? enchanted ember um this enchanted ember a form of sorcery is a vestige of the lost land of yep ascends plus five magic weapon to enchanted okay so this probably takes us from 10 to 15 on them if we went for like the divine weapon right love your face stuff but i need to lurk all the love yo suits you have an amazing rest of your day thank you so much for the lurk thank you so much for popping in and giving love man um, you do that impromptu stream. You kick ass. You absolute legend. Um, just thank you for your friendship. Always suits. I appreciate you, dude. Let's see the sorcerers. Yeah, we already got that. Okay. So we could go see what onion bro was talking about with sense fortress. I think onion bro was saying he's head back to sense fortress. Maybe amazing armor ahead. I like this armor. We're looking pretty 
pretty suave if you ask me i think we actually have a little bit more weight we could put on too Ooh, we should look at some rings while we're at it what rings have we missed produces no sound whatsoever grants extra magic casting but halves your hp Ooh, that could be interesting grants additional attunement slots boosts miracle boost critical attacks improve balance on poor footing i need this in real life <laughs> boost item discovery traverse the abyss what is this this ring symbolizes knight artorius's covenant with the beasts of the abyss it's where like artorius himself can traverse the abyss interesting yo we got a cat ring though lolly did you see this we got a cat ring okay You'll find the, the next ember a little bit later. Okay. Yes. Never. We don't want to take off the favor and protection ring, right? Artoria's best bro. Yeah. We took down, uh, we took down Sif yesterday and chat was giving me so much crap about it. It was so ridiculous. Y'all were ripping me apart. Sif was adorable, but Sif was trying to eat me. Is the onion bro over here again? I thought he said he was coming back. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay. That ring is too good to lose. I wonder if you can get... Can you get a second one on New Game Plus, Mr. White? Do you know? You already fought Sif. Yeah, we fought Sif. Yes, we fought... Who did we fight? We fought Sif. We fought the Hydra. And we fought... Who else did we fight yesterday? Nito and Nito. Nito, Hydra, and Sif yesterday. Let's see. Would you have fast roll if he took off the shield? Oh, are we heavy? Oh, yeah. Because we... Oh, yeah. You are right. Because we took the that ring off. Um, Let's take the helmet off. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. Maybe a second one could be achieved. Is that the dog killer? Why are you doing that to me, Zach? There's a merchant in sends You probably missed that sells infinite large shards. Okay mid rolling yeah where should we warp to no 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 no. we got the peculiar doll so we can go to the the painting that king was talking about yeah fast roll you need to be 25 percent of your equipment load i think if we put the havel ring back on that brings us to 120 so what would 25 percent of that be 12 24 like 30 mm. 30 we can give it a shot though Layla, why are you so whiny? Layla. Layla's extra whiny today. Havel's ring. Okay. And then maybe we could take like these off. We want to be 30. So we could probably put some back on. Ooh, maybe the head. Just enough. Okay. Yep. This is our outfit. We're rolling with it. The one stream I missed you fight Sif. I know you fought Nito because I lurked for a bit, but I couldn't talk because of work. Oh, how was work though? Are you working today, Dark Phoenix? Or are you off for the day? Looking sexy? Yeah, look at these pecs. Uh, where? Okay, we got to find the painting. King was talking about a painting. We need the peculiar doll. We got the peculiar doll stripper souls, <laughs> right? I mean, this is this is an outfit. This is a vibe. Done for the day now. Nice, nice. Anybody going to watch any Star Wars movies later? I'm sure you'll redeem yourself in the future. I just saw that starfish. I'm trying to redeem myself. I gave all the puppies love yesterday. Layla was like watching the monitor though. And she was, she does not like seeing other puppy dogs on the, on the stream. If you need help finding, I can let me know if needed. So maybe give me a hot or cold. Also playing it with some friends. Yeah. Layla's try Layla wants to play. I'll watch Revenge of the Sith tonight. Hell yeah. Is that your favorite one, Lord Jukebox? Revenge of the Sith is a good one. Yo, what you gonna be playing later tonight, Zach? Are you playing more Sea of Thieves? You playing Mario Kart? Hot, cold. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Right there. <clears throat> Yo, Noom Game, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Hotter? Okay. We're getting hotter. Hotter. We're getting colder. Hotter, colder, hotter, colder. Hold on. Um. Wow, my 
MacBook's uh, it's getting like toasty right now. Good, good. That's awesome here. Happy May the 4th as well, my friend. What is your favorite Star Wars movie? How's it going? Had to step away from it. I'm doing pretty damn good, honestly. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm back. Did you fell? We did. Yes. And now Mr. White's helping me find this mysterious painting. He slapped him down. I, dude, King, man. King, I had two rounds with the stray demon where first round got stray demon to like 2% health and then died. And then second time got stray demon to like 5% health and also died. Dude, I had like the chokes of the year, but we got him. It's okay. We got him. Think about the lever. Think about the lever. Pull the lever, Kronk. Contraption does not work. Oh, I remember this place. I do remember this place. Oh yeah, there's a lot of the throwing people. Take. <laughs> Just sounds like a hammer. How many tries did Sif take? So I did Sif on the first try. It wasn't too, Sif wasn't that difficult. Sif was pretty easy. And I think I only had like four Estus flasks when I went in. But Stray Demon. But Stray Demon was tough. Throwing people. <laughs> the literal sun. Oh, here they go. They're they're literally throwing. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Okay. They're throwers. They like to throw. Oh, damn it, dude. Oh, damn. Uh-oh. Smack down initiated. Are we supposed to take these people down? He has a plus 10 sword. Not I do. We are slowly but surely leveling up. Are you using Zwei in your first playthrough? Definitely trivializes a lot of the game. Yeah, Royal. Um, so I've been Zwei has been my go-to weapon this whole game. When I did Demon Souls, I did um the Claymore, which I liked, but every every Soulsborne game, I want to use a different weapon. Um, so Zwei was the one for this one. It's definitely heavy and it's definitely very heavy. So it's a lot of like patience and timing, but I dig it. I dig it. Well, by the way, welcome in, Royal. Hope you're having an amazing May the 4th. NT, welcome in. Happy May the 4th. Yo, NT, Royal. What are both of your favorite Star Wars movies? That's our question for the day. Ooh, smack. It, oh, it, wait. Is that the painting right there? That must be the painting, right? Is that the painting? Okay. That looks like a painting. I'm guessing that's the painting. I think Bob Ross painted that. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it says that in the item description, King. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. Check for items, though. Yeah. I know there was one. I think it was a ring or something around here that I grabbed my first time coming through here. Schmack. It's like a hammer. It's like not even a sword. It's just a hammer. <laughs> So is that supposed to be a chandelier from up there? Maybe when we were walking, it dropped. I don't remember it dropping though. No items over here. Okay. Confirmed. I hate the sound of all my voices singing and talking fortune. You have a beautiful voice, right? Everybody. Can we get some love in chat for legendary fortune? It's a chandelier, it's a chandelier pong. <laughs> One shotting these dudes now like a boss. Yeah, when I listen back to my VODs, Fortune, I absolutely despise hearing my own voice. Or when I'm, like, doing editing stuff, I, like, I don't like my voice. I think, I think most, I think you're right, King. Cut it down when was walking G after gotcha. Okay. All right. We got the doll too, King. I like this outfit without the, the shirt on. Whoa. Painted world of Artemis? Ariamis? Ariamis? Don't you all just hate it when you like touch a painting and get transported to another dimension? Dude. <laughs> um so oh sub to your Patreon just to hear how I sounded. 
Well, thank you incredibly much, Fortune. I massively appreciate you, my friend. Yes, for anybody that doesn't know, I do have a Patreon. Um, it's only a dollar, and it gives you early access by a, it gives you a week's early access to the Zephcast uh, show. So if if y'all want to, just a little bit. <laughs> um, let's see. Is this Super Mario sixty four, dude? King. I think I think this is this is the modded version of Super Mario sixty four. <laughs> I sound very Northern British when I hear myself back. Nothing like how I hear myself when I talk. Isn't it interesting? The sound we hear like in our heads of our voice versus when we were listening back to ourselves. It sounds so different, right? Yo, Empire Strikes Back is my favorite that I tell people. Attack of the Clones is the one that I don't tell people so I don't get beat up. Attack of the Clones is, um, it's interesting. It's, it's definitely interesting. What do you think about the new trilogy, Royal? Do you like, uh, Force Awakens? Do you like um, Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker at all? Oh, oh, shinies. There's probably shinies, right? I know how this game works. It likes to hide the shinies. Oh, nope. I'm just going the dangerous route. I went to the danger zone. Back of the Clones is my nickname for a Dark Souls 3 boss. <laughs> Oh, like maybe like one of the fool's idols or something. Empire's the best one, in my opinion. The new films were really bad. Yeah, we did a Star Wars tier maker earlier, Dark Phoenix. And I definitely gave my opinions on him for sure. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. No, no, dude, dude, dude. What the F? Sometimes I forget what game I'm playing and like how easy it is to just get cornered as we like roll off the edge here. You missed the fawn buyer. Dude, did I again? What? Dude, King. Oh my God. I. King, this is why I need you. <laughs> I could not play Dark Souls without you, King. Oh, uh, like seriously, how do I keep missing these? Crazy. It, yeah, and it's not even like the mobs of them. It's just how aggressive they are. Like they literally go from zero to a hundred and do these like five six seven attacks it's ridiculous uh oh uh oh they heard me talking smack on them it was like last night in uh in a1 twin stream i heard them all kind of talking smack fortune so i had to jump right in i'm i'm everywhere i'm always listening <laughs> the smack of love right sorry i'll go no king king you are you're my, like you're like my right hand man you're my brother from another mother i'm pretty sure at this point apparently zeph needs to see an eye doctor probably actually yeah <laughs> i probably should see an eye doctor like i do feel like i have good eyesight but sometimes it's just i don't know i just can't see yo coffin king my man dude four month sub from coffin the legendary king dude i'm at work right now but congratulations dude thank you so much for the four month sub thank you so much for the love dude coffin dude i hope you're doing incredible man i feel like i haven't talked to you in a minute i hope you're having a good day at work dude how is work going today also coffin may the fourth be with you you know that's actually pretty tough to say may the fourth be with you that's like hard to say and accentuate each, each word What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite Star Wars movie at all, Coffin? Yo, Unfortunate, are you checking this out? I'm starting to learn how to use my shield. Wow, this is like a whole place. It almost kind of looks like the asylum we were just at. It's like another asylum, maybe. But this is like a painting world. I've actually never seen Star Wars. What? It's okay, Coffin. We can still be besties. Let's see fog gate went up i do see the i do see that fog gate over there um what the fuck is that i would say coffin um if you do get a chance to watch them they're pretty good movies i like them a lot second dose of hype 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 hype, hype, hype. soul of a proud knight soul of a proud knight yo lone wolf welcome in how you doing yo coffin what 210 bitty love thank you so much dude i super duper appreciate it you legend thank you so much man all the damn love and the rips there will probably be a lot of rips here 
I have a sense there's going to probably be a boss fight here. What is this? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, those rips were so perfect. Have not seen Star Wars at this point is pretty impressive. I agree. I agree. Wait, are those like naked herpes attacking me? They're like, come back. Wow. Come back. We want to eat your brains. Sorry, I haven't been active, but I graduate college this Sunday with a bachelor's degree. Yo, that is super exciting, Lone Wolf. Congratulations. How's school been going for you? Naked herpes? Oh my God. But they're like crow herpes. They're like crow herpes things. They got booty cheeks. This whole game is filled with booty cheeks. See, I was always the Lord of the Rings dude between the two, not saying they're bad, just never actually got around to him. Yo, Lord of the Rings is amazing. What's your favorite Lord of the Rings? Do you have a favorite one, Coffin? Um, you pissed off the Furies? I guess. They are coming for me hard and fast. Oh! Zeph became toxic. I... Oh, wait. Are we toxic? You're, you're right. Um... Oh, I don't... Mm. I was going to run back to the bonfire, but I'm like, then everyone would respawn. It would be for nothing, but we're out of Estus Flask. So maybe no hit run coming. I loved to, oh, the Twin Towers. Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings coffin. They're like one. They're like the movies I have to watch like once a year. Yo, Lone Wolf, thank you so much, my friend. Every year I make a point to, uh, to watch Lord of the Rings. They're like probably, if I had to pick one favorite series or movies it would probably be them they're so good Ooh, where are we at who's gonna kill me who's gonna kill me man those podcasts are great keep it up oh dude thank you so much for the for the kind words cough and i really really appreciate it have you been listening to them what has been your uh yeah we actually have a brand new one coming out this saturday every saturday a brand new episode of the zeph cast premieres on on the youtube channel very well, I was going to say a very special one, but they're all special. But let's just say a new one coming this Saturday with possibly somebody in chat. Oh, what was that? Whoa, what are that? Use plain OBS. If so, have you heard about Leoran board? Um, I do use. I, yeah, I do use regular OBS. I used to use Streamlabs, but after some computer problems, I switched to OBS and... Uh, my 98% CPU over there doesn't seem to be liking it anyways. <laughs> Ooh, excited! Oh, Lone Wolf, thank you so much for the for the host, my friend. I super appreciate it. Am I the only one noticing he's not wearing chest armor? Yukina. Oh, look at this chest, though. Like, look at that. Look at those pecs. Look at those abs. Like, would you want to wear... Would you want to wear some chest armor? I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at those veins. Look at those muscles. Come on. Nice. You should check out Leorn board extension. Ooh. So what can you do with Leorn board? I know Zach's been talking about it. Watch the lolly ice beam and King Fink, dude. Coffin. I'm super dude. Thank you so much, man. Yo, Master Jung Gaming with the epic follow. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome in. Hope you are having a magnificent May the 4th. And thank you so much for the lurk as well, Lord Jukebox. I appreciate you, my friend, so damn much. Welcome in. Are you a pretty big Dark Souls fan? By the way, Master Jung, we're also asking, what is your favorite Star Wars movie today? Since it is May the 4th. Want to get that wonderful chest all scarred up and torn to heck and back? Go for it. You're not wrong. Um, Spot a lightsaber and watch the Bad Batch. Yo, what, what color would your lightsaber be, Lone Wolf? What color lightsaber did you get? It's nuts how it changes my cameras. Like, I can do whatever you want stuff. It's nuts. I mean, but ow. So can you get like have stuff in Leorn board where like if somebody redeems a channel point, it automatically does it. And like the streamer ha doesn't have to press anything. Uh Oh, that could have been bad. Uh, this is looking bad because that's I've seen some people do that where they'll like redeem a channel point and then just immediately like some a gif will pop up or something will happen. Red for sure. Hell yeah. Dark Phoenix red lightsaber life. Oh. Oh no, we're toxic. Oh no, we're toxic. We're toxic. I'm not about that toxic life. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. So oh, we got a lot of souls to bummer. Yep, exactly. Gotta go getting my friends, but much love and have an amazing day. Coffin King, dude. 
thank you so much for the love dude i hope you have an amazing day you magnificent human being thank you always for the love and good vibes you have a kick-ass day my friend a new hope new hope is probably my favorite as well master jung i like new hope empire would be really close but probably new hope for me as well um you can also hook it up to twitch chat to when someone redeems oh i literally just gotta read zach it's right there uh the flood from halo they told that's totally what i was thinking they were dark phoenix they totally have like the flood from halo look going on except it looks like when you attack them or like they, they don't explode all over you which is always a bonus because they did that in halo you'd like attack them and then wouldn't they like explode bugs or something everywhere last thing whenever you feel despair creeping up look up asian fishermen never give up on youtube i don't know if i've seen that uh-oh take my sword to the face equip a shotgun when in doubt in dark souls just equip the shotgun dude captain jazz can you imagine if they made like a dark souls game kind of like that what would that be like maybe how would they do a, a third person shooter that's actually good i don't know i mean because like i love uncharted but I'm not super crazy about I'm not super crazy about the gameplay in it it's fun it's an amazing story and beautiful cinematography but the gameplay of Uncharted is not my favorite but imagine yeah oh Returnal is sort of like that oh man I've been hearing people are loving Returnal yo Zeph don't make sure you dude make sure you get your souls at least Tomb Raider is better <gasps> What is, has anybody here played? Uh, has any has everybody here played Tomb Raider before? Fortune, I know Fortune's a big Tomb Raider fan. I've never played any of the. Never played any of the Tomb Raiders before. I know a lot of people play. Uh, what is it like? Shadow of the Tomb Raiders is pretty popular. Man, these what even are these? They explode toxic all over Escacha. Kind of kind of doesn't make sense to heal it then. Oh, dude. Wow. That was... Dude. What the hell was that, Zef? Dude. What the hell was that, Zef? I'm gonna just hit the ground over here. Okay, then. Tomb Raider equals female Nathan Drake. I'm not a fan of Uncharted. Great story. Felt like it was just a copy of Tomb Raider, honestly. Which is funny because Uncharted was heavily inspired by the OG. Yeah. I mean, I, I really like uh, Uncharted a lot. I really just I like the story and the graphics I just really like Naughty Dog games I think Naughty Dog just does like absolutely imp impeccable games oh Ooh. even even last of us part two I get why some people weren't super crazy about it I liked it a lot though I'm gonna just run past all these crazies well maybe try to probably what i felt like just the male version of it hmm i have seen the tomb raider movies years ago with uh angelina jolie my i remember my dad and i watched them i was like eight so i don't remember anything but they're pretty cool at least from what i remember I like watching naughty dog streams just don't feel like playing them that's are there any other games like that you all kind of feel like that you'd rather you like enjoy the game but you'd rather just watch somebody play it rather than play it yourself can we get over there oh are we supposed to jump that outlast i've never checked out outlast before oh i'm not gonna be able to check anything out if i good gonna die left and right too scared to start it on my switch is it like really tough or something whoa dude 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 oh no ah flames are hot oh dude don't die this is looking grim oh god dude dude my god we're gonna die double sunny d oh my lord dude i can't even keep track of anything here uh tomb raider came out in 96 and uncharted 2007 so drake wish he was the badass Lara Croft. i mean you're not wrong oh god a herpy herpes oh i don't like herpes oh god Ugh. 
This is a tough area. See, I think it's tough because I don't know where to go. So I'm kind of just running. If I want to explore, I need to kill all the enemies. If I want to just go straight for the boss, I got to run. Yo, welcome back, Cthulhu. What did you eat for dinner? What was yummy? Looking forward to the Uncharted movie with the Spider-Man kid. Tom oh, Tom Holland. Yeah, some people are... I don't know, because it's like an early Nathan Drake movie, right? I did watch someone play Catherine and finally bought the other version and played it. Catherine, I don't know if I've... I feel like I've heard the name before, but I've, I don't know anything about it. What kind of game is Catherine? Yo, spaghetti always yummy. I like spaghetti. All right, here's what we're going to do, everybody. We're going to kindle this bonfire. I feel like this is a, a kindling of bonfire area. Yeah, that's what I heard looked good. I'm excited for it too, Mr. White. I'm definitely a, a like, give it a chance before you kind of have an opinion on it, you know? Because it could be amazing. But if you kind of go into movies and TV shows and games and stuff, just with the expectation it's going to be trash, you're like going to find every reason to make it trash. <laughs> Fortune, I, I can't say anything. <laughs> Uh, I don't like her. I mean, as somebody that's never experienced herpes, nor do I want to experience herpes, I probably would not like herpes. So for the content, of course, for them delicious, delicious clips, right? Oh, Lord. Kindle, 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 Kindle. Never knew Uncharted movie was a thing. Cold sores are a form of herpes, actually. You know, I've never had a cold sore, actually. At least not that I'm aware of, but I would I would have put Ryan Reynolds in that role. Dude, Ryan Reynolds in anything is good. I really hope I can get into the Final Fantasy VII remake. Maybe when the rest comes out, I will. I wonder if they would ever do like a Final Fantasy VII TV series. At this point, I probably wouldn't put it past them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hmm. All right. Taking down beasties left and right. I'm going to try to be patient through this area. I feel like that's what we need. Ryan Reynolds is like the Nathan Drake IRL. Yo, Ryan Re Reynolds is a boss. You all know that, though. Ryan Reynolds is awesome. He, he was like so perfect as Deadpool, wasn't he not? He was really good as Deadpool. I just like his energy. I like your energy too, Layla. Sometimes. Most times. They're like extra whiny all of a sudden. What? You got opinions? Did he is even during Van Wilder days? Van Wilder. I don't know if I've ever seen that movie. The Chocobos are going to get super simple. Sadly, I think breeding will be gone. They took out fine details like that in part one. Example, couldn't choose who to give Rose to. Yeah. I, I hope there's Chocobo breeding. I actually really like the whole Chocobo breeding side quests in Final Fantasy VII. I know it kind of gets a lot of hate sometimes, but I, I personally really liked it. I guess after you've done it like 50 times, you kind of know how everything, where to get the Chocobos, how to do it all. So, but yeah, I thought it was fun. One of the earliest films, very funny. Check it out. What is a, there's so many movies I got to see. I'm missing out big time. What was the last movie we watched? Actually, Wifey and I, just the other night, we watched The Founder. Have any of you ever seen The Founder? It's like the McDonald's story movie with um, Michael Keaton. It was actually really good. It's like really, really good. Very interesting. Just do away with needing to race them. Hmm. I did like the Chocobo races, though. I guess I'm so nostalgic for Final Fantasy VII. You can't trust my opinion on anything with it because I'll say I love like everything. I don't know about some of the other stuff though. Like some of the Dirge of Cerberus or Before Crisis stuff. Ooh, let's chop this down. Why not? I love Lamp. I love Lamp. Especially in the Souls games, Lanterns, Lamps, Bonfires, they are your best friend indeed. Have you seen Super Size Me as well? Similar documentary? I have. That is, oh man that's tough to watch it's a great show but it's 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 just really tough to watch i would not neg i would not want even my own worst enemy to have to eat mcdonald's for how long did he eat it for like a month straight oh damn it 
Maybe that's not the way we do it. Greedy mother for who stole McDonald's out of the McDonald's brothers. Yeah, it was very interesting. Would you call that a movie documentary movie? What would that even be? I think we can get in over there. Can we? We can't walk over this, right? No. Okay. Particularly when he starts puking in the parking lot. Yes, you can just see he's so ready to be done with it. I wonder if he has like had McDonald's since then or if he's just scarred permanently from it. Surprise me annoyed me. I don't know if I've seen surprise me. What is uh, what is surprise me about? Or do you mean like supersize me? Oh, supersize me. I'm just Captain Jazz. Ignore me. I'm blind. I can't I can't read anything. I would call it inspired by a true story because it's not all accurate. A lot of a lot of like retelling of movies are like that, right? They'll kind of expand the truth or ex what do you call it? Stretch the truth a little bit. Yo, Crimin, welcome in. How you doing today? Happy May the 4th. Crimin, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? That's our question we're asking today. What's your what's your favorite Star Wars movie? If you eat fast food for every meal a month, you won't feel good and you'll get right. Yo, Nikki B Immortal, welcome in. Happy May the 4th. What's your favorite? What's your favorite Star Wars movie, Nikki? Like, yeah, dude, obviously. Ooh, are we supposed to drop down there? This could be painful. Oh, this is painful. Painful for herpes. See? Bad herpes. I've changed details to make it interesting. <laughs> Now, my favorite Star Wars movie is Empire Strikes Back. A great one. Uh, I I would say I'm close between Empire and... Ooh, Painted Guardian Hood? Yo, this looks pretty cool. Or like A New Hope. I like A New Hope probably just a little bit more. But, yo, Empire Strikes Back is great. No question a classic, but Revenge of the Sith is a close second. Yo, Killer Draco. Welcome in, Killer Draco. How you doing today, buddy? Happy May the 4th. You also think... Uh, you also think Empire Strikes Back? You know those things are called... Oh. Wait, are they called Harpies? Are they called... Are they called Harpies or Herpes? I've always thought they were called Herpes. No. Don't... Don't... No. 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 I hate this world. <laughs> Harpies with an A, with an A, with an A, with an A. Okay. Harpies with an A. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I really, really, really thought it was. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, oh, Zeph. Oh, Zeph. That command's going to be broken one of these days. Egg. Yo, we got an. Is that an acorn? Is that a furry acorn? Um, let's hold on. We got we we got to look more into this real quick. Is that a furry acorn? Egg corn? Acorn? A acorn? I don't recommend the last Jedi. Oh yeah, Nikki be immortal. We were um, we were what do you call it? We were doing a tier maker list earlier, and I was very honest about my feelings for uh for last Jedi. I am also not a fan of Last Jedi. A E corn. Bitter sour chestnut removes parasitic egg from the body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos, and the egg symbolizes the selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under special circumstances. Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Last Jedi is stinky. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest. I'm not the biggest fan of Last Jedi. I remember actually going to the movie theaters um, and watching it with wifey and halfway through the movie, I looked over at her like in the theater and I'm like, I don't really think I'm liking this. Like, I just, I, I'm not digging this. So yeah, I, I'm, I have feelings about Last Jedi, but if you like it, that is a million percent fine. I am happy you are able to enjoy it. Just like I'm happy this harpy gonna enjoy my zwai to the face did the harpies even do anything or am i just that fast oh i read a uh, last stand 
uh last night i stand at a party pre-corona i miss being able to do stuff like that parties with friends and family and just getting people together whoa look at those harpy butt cheeks harpy butt cheeks harpy harpy i've grown more fond of the harpy ladies <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the entire trilogy, to be honest. Yeah, I think the only good... I've, I haven't seen Rise of Skywalker, so I have no opinion on it, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, this is straight like the Maneater. Like the, the walk up to the Maneater, how easy it is to just fall off. Uh-oh. Oh, we're still alive. I think we're going to die, everybody. Uh, we're out of Estus flasks. Uh, Let's do, let's do this, because I don't want to lose all these, all these souls. Let's see. Yo, Zelda Zink, welcome in. Happy May the 4th, Zelda Zink. Zelda, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? That is our question for everybody today. You did the boycott. Uh, Yeah, I just haven't seen Rise of Skywalker. I do want to see it one day. I just, I got, I don't know. I got to be in the mood for it. And I really want to go into Rise of Skywalker, like not thinking anything negative, just kind of going in for the experience. And we'll watch it one of these days. I feel, I feel like the first two trilogies wrapped up the story nicely, while the reboot trilogy felt like a cash grab, in my opinion. Nothing against those who liked it, but that didn't click with me. Yeah, I was really excited for Force Awakens. I was, like, excited. to. It, it wasn't, like, an amazing movie. It wasn't a terrible movie to me. It was just kind of more of a, this is interesting. I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. And then Last Jedi was just, ugh. Last Jedi was tough. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let's level up. What can we... That's two level ups. Let's do some more endurance. Let's get endurance to 30. I like it. Let's see here. Um, And we still got a little bit of souls. I miss, honestly, in Bloodborne, I do miss the... What's it called? The Hunter's Dream, where you can, like, spend your extra souls or your extra blood echoes and just go buy, like... Uh, go buy blood vials and stuff. Agreed. Disney turned Star Wars into a cash cow without giving an F about the fans. Big corporations being big corporations being big corporations. All about damn money. I like a lot of The Force Awakens, but I think the setup, unfortunately, doesn't set up for a great trilogy. Yeah. It was also weird at the end how we were talking about it a little bit earlier. It was interesting how Rey just all of a sudden became Luke Skywalker level abilities and like you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi level Star Wars, like Jedi abilities. And you're like, you didn't train at all. You didn't go through the Jedi temple or train or you just all of a sudden are a badass at the force. Um, I don't think that's quite how it works. She's that good. I'm, I mean, she must be. At least that's what they want you to believe. She's like the Yoda of the Star Wars universe. She's more Yoda than the Star Wars universe. Maybe. Uh, she clapped Luke, right? I mean, isn't Luke supposed to be like the most powerful Jedi? Or is Yoda technically the most, most powerful Jedi? <laughs> that Yoda mode is great, Nikki. I love it. George Lucas turned Star Wars into a cash cow when he did episode one. You know, I have... Wow, that's a drag. What is that? Is that a dead dragon? What the... Whoa. Is it coming towards me? Um, 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 yo, what is that? What is that? Okay. Uh, maybe we'll come back in a second. Oh, Darth Vader is supposed to be the most powerful Jedi. Interesting. Oh, is that the fog door? Um, maybe this is the shortcut to the front. No, damn it. Uh, I don't want to go straight to a boss right now. I mean, I guess we got a lot of Estus Flask. Let's give it a shot. Okay. First attempt at a boss. Oh. Well, the letdown is so real. Never mind then. <laughs> no boss. <gasps> oh, dude. It's like a phalanx. Kind of like from Demon Souls. Ah, uh, I have like an itchy ear. Damn it, why is everything locked? Just like bust it down. Kick the door in. Where's our shortcut at? What is that supposed to be? Is that that's like a phalanx from the maybe it's this door. Yes! Oh! 
Is this our shortcut? Yeah, it is. This is kind of the home invasion, so naturally the doors would be locked. I mean, damn it, Draco, you're probably right. Reminder to always lock your doors at night. <laughs> All right, maybe now, boss, maybe, maybe boss, possibly. I wonder what the boss in this is going to be. Maybe, it, is it that dragon? I wonder if it is that dragon. Um, shiny humanity. I always need more humanity in life. Oh, that looks like that could lead somewhere cool. Oh, whoa. Hey, 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 that hurt. Where does this go? Fun fact, the level is based on a prototype level for Dark Souls 1. Interesting. Whoa. No, no. Those things? No. Fun fact, King. These are the worst enemies in the game are the damn wheels. No! Right? Right? Are these the worst enemies in the entire game? Yo, Punished Orca, welcome in. Happy May the 4th, Punished Orca. What is your favorite Star Wars movie, my friend? Yes, exactly. You're 100% right, Draco. At least we got the shortcut. The bone wheels. Bone wheels always bone in me. The bone wheels are always bone in me. The wheels are based on Berserk, like the status effect. At least for, um, this looks like this could lead somewhere cool. Famous last words. All right. Shield up. Shield up. There you are. Yo, this is, this is a good trick. Chop you down. Stay dead. Was that it? One shot. Thank all the mighty lords. Revenge of the Sith. Hell yeah. Oh, the manga. Gotcha. I, I haven't, I haven't read the manga. Uh, what's the manga about epic tulu revenge of the sith revenge of the sith is a good one. Oh, i'm so smart not really we just got lucky but luciary wall ahead another one really uh maybe another one okay oh and bones damn it bone wheels Damn boners. Oh, we got him. It's okay. Such a big influence on this game. Uh, Berserk is a lot of Dark Souls is inspired by Berserk. Actually, really interesting. Hard to tell you about without getting into spoilers, but 110% I recommend it. Is it like a, uh, is it a book or is it, um, turn handle? Uh, or is it like a anime, like a TV series? Ooh. We are not dead yet. I'm proud of us. Bone wheels and dude, these bone wheels are always in rage mode. These bone wheels are the worst enemies in the game. I swear. Where are you at? These bone wheels are ridiculous. Oh, dude. How did you miss? Zaf! Hit him. Manga series considered like a black and white. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, that's the one you read like left to right, right? I've never read a manga before. Right or right to left. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I say left to right? You know what I mean? You read the, the right to left, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or li life live life on the edge. They kill fast and die fast. Uh, live fast, die young. That's what they're thinking. Oils are a little bone saw McGraw's 2000 Spider-Man. Anyone? I have seen that. Bone saw McGraws, but I don't remember that character. Which character was that one for, for uh, Fortune? Okay, does this open something? This opens something. Uh oh. What does this do? Like laser beams come out of her eyes. Okay, that's not ominous or foretelling of anything. Ah, where's the laser beams attached to the heads? I know. All I want is just freaking laser beams attached to the head. Is that too much to ask? Uh, Austin Powers, anybody? 
Bone Saw McGraw was the cage. Oh, the cage match wrestler. Okay. Uh, it was played by Macho Man. They're really releasing the manga in deluxe edition volumes right now. Best price quality ratio you can get to read Berserk. I wonder, could you read it live? Do you think? Like cutscene gave me Legend of Zelda vibes? A little bit. I could see that. Um, Can you read mangas or books or anything li live? Like on Twitch? Could that be a stream? Or that's probably copyright, right? Be like, dude, I'm giving you a free audiobook version of it. Oh, they print in color. That's pretty cool. Oh, hello, hello. I don't think you can stream it. It'd probably be copyright, right? Pretty much like if we don't own it, you can't stream it. I guess, except video games. <laughs> Who put wheels on these skeletons? Sketchy Benito, thank you. Whoever put wheels on these skeletons. I do not trust them. Oh, we got a shiny. Let's go get it. And then maybe we could go for the boss. Maybe. Shield always up, though. There's one advice I'd give playing Dark Souls or any of the Soulsborne games. It's shield up. I wonder if there are shields in Sekiro. Little Sonic the Hedgehog's coming to smack your booty. I know, right? They're ridiculous. They're so ridiculous. I don't, I probably not. I don't, I would doubt Sekiro would have any shields because it's so much more about like parrying, right? Parrying is the mechanic in Sekiro. Is it over this way that it felt? Oh, hello. Hello, bonies. You're not bonies. You're deadies. There are shields in Sekiro. Oh, but not for you. Gotcha. <laughs> Remember to go to the go in the graveyard. Okay. Graveyard. I think you theoretically read the manga out loud and viewers could follow along in a different tab. Hmm, that would be interesting. Because if we could do like book readings or anything, like I, I would honestly be down for something like that. What do y'all think? Like me doing some voice acting for the books? What would be a good one? Princess Bride. I would so be down to do the prince. Wait, I think actually Lolly did a, a reading of the Princess Bride, if I can recall. I swear Lolly did. Where did that item drop? Was it maybe over? I, I chopped down that rope and an item fell somewhere. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it is over here. Okay. Is that where the rope was? Maybe. Wow. 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 Those enemies definitely look like they've seen better days. They look actually like the hollowed enemies that got, I don't know, bloodborneified. <laughs> mm, I don't see nothing over here. Whoa. Can we not move there? Okay. It's like a little maze of what, what I would even. Okay. Here's the door. I think the store is locked. Okay. Blood bornified. You know what I mean? Like, don't they look blood bornified? They're straight out of like Yargu Village, right? Oh, oh, uh, all right. I, okay. Let's just run this way and see what we got. Is there anything in here besides death and misery? We have come up that way. That's how we got the shortcut. Okay. We're on the right path. Shield up, shield up, shield up. Those things are good for uh, for soul farming. Do they give a lot of souls? I probably will do a stream where we just do some like soul farming. Probably before the DLC. I have a feeling we're probably going to want to level up for the DLC. Um, Wow. Wow. Holy. Wow. That. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just run past you. Bye bye. Ooh, what is... There's nothing in there. Okay. Um, It's really hard to swerve here when there's just chunks of the bridge missing. All right. Let's see what this is. It's probably a boss, right? Oh. Is it not a boss? It sounds like boss music. Who art thou? One of us thou art not. If thou hast me stepped into this world, plunge down from the plank and hurry home. 
If thou seekest I, thine desires shall be requited not. Hmm. Okay. Thou must returneth whence thou came. This land is peaceful, its inhabitants kind, but thou dost not belong. Thou I dost not belong. Thee. Plunge down from the plank and hurry home. Plunge down from the plank and hurry home? Yo, I like her outfit. She has a cute outfit. Does she have a tail? I want a tail. Hmm, plunge down from the plank. Im imminent amazing armor. So are we just supposed to like jump off the edge? Is that what she's wanting? I, I like I like being alive. I'd rather not die. Wait, are you just gonna do it? Um Wait. Wait. Wait, was that it? Wait, did we just like dive out of the painting? You died? Was that not a boss fight? Was this whole was there like no boss fight at all in this entire thing? That sounded like boss music, if you ask me. You can fi Oh, it's like an optional fight. Interesting. Should, should we fight her? I mean, we could give her a shot, right? She asked you not. Oh, she asked you not to. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. She said, please. Do y'all think we should fight her? Is it worth fighting? Dark Phoenix, do you think? Is, is it worth fighting? Or should we just leave her be? But she has a tail to take. Let's see. That's what should have been expected, but I just want that tail. I mean, I mean, if the tail's a good item, fight her. Fight. Lone Wolf says fight. Your call, Zeph. Is there any negative if we do fight her? Like if we kill her, do we lose something later on? Or is there only... Is it only good to uh to fight? Congrats! Miyazaki put that in as a personality test. You attack her, you ruthless, but if you don't and leave her be, it shows you have compassion for random people if given good enough reason. <laughs> we win! But we're actually gonna go back and probably smack her. <laughs> smack her the booty. I will be. Mm, you'll be Sag. What do you think, Dark Phoenix? Is there any reason to not fight her? Because if she's holding good armor or something, I mean, probably, right? There's your answer. All right. I just don't want to kill her and, like, lose an, a really cool item later on, you know? That's kind of just what I'm trepidatious about. You like my big word there? Trepidatious? I have no idea what it means. Thought it sounded cool. Anyways, let's uh go give this a chance a shot an attempt always giving you the option either fight and get some good armor or just what word of the day that's our word of the day everybody trepidatious hello big old knight with the big swing Oh, you are here to fight her. Look at the fluffy tail first and then make a decision. So I'm guessing is it like the gargoyles where if we attack the tail, we get a good item. All right. All right. Can we like talk to her again? Okay, we can. So if we're going to fight her, just, just go for the tail. Go for the tail. Kind of like the gargoyles. All right. All right. All right. I think we missed. Okay. Try again. I oh. Why Here we go. I didn't see the Just tail, though. Do it. Make your Just dreams. do it. I'm true. Oh, I'm trying. Whoa, where's she at, though? Where's she at? Where's she at? Thank you, Mountain Border, for the bitty love. Just do it. Where's she at? 
Where is she at? Is she invisible? Whoa, wait, she's walking to me. Is that it? Is that kind of the thing? She's just invisible? Okay. Okay. I mean, is this the fight? Should I try to chop the tail off? I'm trying. Oh, wow. She came to town. She came to party. She's like, you get no tail. I mean, was that it? Was that it? I guess, I guess that was it. Look at that Y damage. I know. No GG's. Nobody's happy about that one. They're just like, uh, easy boss, but she hits like a truck. Everybody's like, no GG's. You killed a friend. Why'd you do that? Congratulations. You're a murderer. Epic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Epic. I apologize, but we got, we got her soul. Sag, I know, I know. Oh, a very tip of the tail has good dagger. Oh, has a good. Wait, I was hitting the tail. Priscilla did nothing wrong. Can we like skip this cutscene? Okay, we can. Well, um, you know what? Actually, what would be faster? Is there anywhere else in An Orlando to go? Whoa. Okay. Yesterday you killed Sif. Today you killed Priscilla. Shake my head. Captain Jazz, I'm just letting you down left and right. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to live my best life in Dark Souls. The best part of this is you treated her so nicely at first, then came back to kill her. In Lord Trek's armor, it comes full circle. Sometimes you just gotta... Sometimes you just gotta be a boss, right? <laughs> All right, where are we warping out? Oh! I literally thought that <laughs> I literally thought that was playing right when I clicked the bonfire. I'm like, why does this game have gladiators screaming at me? <laughs> that was perfect timing. Thank you so much, Mountain Porter. <laughs> All right. I guess we cannot warp out here. Oh, can we not even go back? Dude. But we could. No. Oh, wait. Can we not even go back? Bro. Why did we do that? Sag, 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 Sag. I was trying to warp out to like An Orlon all the way through, my dude. Welp, this is what we get. This is what we get, Lord Jukebox. Man, I thought I was hitting her tail though. Okay, well, go human and go to the grave. Is there a graveyard here? Go human and go to the graveyard. I didn't. Where was the graveyard? Was it over there? Hmm. A boss and a painting. I wonder what caused her to get trapped into a painting here. Maybe did Gwen? King Gwen, did he like lock her in here possibly? Why is there a thing up there to read? I shouldn't be surprised with, with some of the things I see in Dark Souls at this point. <laughs> also, when you get back, spin the tower all the way down and explore there. Spin the tower all the way around and explore. You have a special ring that will show you the way. Oh, okay. I think it was Gwen maybe that locked her away maybe did uh like Guinevere or Gwen so so Gwen is the king the fire king right he's the 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 baddie of the game is Guinevere his wife daughter someone hmm let's see uh spin the tower all the way down and explore there okay we'll go do that oh that hurt. Oh, wow. They're just throwing knives everywhere at me. Here they come. They're coming in hot. Like spin this tower. Does this one spin? Daughter. Gotcha. 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 Guinevere here is an absolute goddess. <laughs> Everyone seems to love her. Everyone says best chest ahead, right? Uh, best chest ahead. Oh my. Okay. 
this is the one we spin. Let's give it a little spinny spin. Like this. Um, just moving the whole city while we're at it. Why not? Wow. Wow. Basic chest. <laughs> you know, Orca. Um, and then just go back down and explore. Oh, dude, you are adamant. He's coming after me. All right, what is down here? An amazing ring, you say? I do like amazing rings. Nothing over there. Bonfire? Um, have we not had, we haven't got this bonfire yet. Okay, so new area. Cool, cool. And I think that's Gwen. Is this the ring? Ring of the sun's firstborn? Interesting. Um, what was that? Hold on. Let's look at that ring. What was that? Ring of sun's firstborn? I'm guessing it's the sun's firstborn. <laughs> Lord Gwen's firstborn who inherited the sunlight once wore this ancient ring boost the strength of miracles. That's pretty cool. Lord Gwen's firstborn was a god of war. So like Ares maybe, but his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding of his difix status. Today, even his name is not known. Oh, so he like got kicked out of the family probably. Uh-oh. Um, what does this say? Here. Guessing this is the king. Look at that sword. Look at that gold. Man, that's pretty cool. There is a lot of really cool, like this whole game has just really cool architecture in it. And just, this is a cool game to just look around at and like, look at the world. You know, it's so, I don't know. It, it, the architecture is amazing. The very like medieval inspired a little bit, you know, his real name is Bubba. I love gold. I love gold. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we could do two level ups. Okay, so we'll do endurance and maybe strength, more strength, more strength than ever hurt anybody except our enemies. Oh man, I think is that is this a warping spot? Maybe can we warp here? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Woo. Woo. Oh man, everybody. I think we'll probably uh boss time, am I right? So what we took down stray demon today. Was it the stray demon? And then we took down the the painting one. What was her name? I didn't even get a chance to see her name. Was it Gwen? Um great progress stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Dark Phoenix. Yeah, it was a good stream today. I always feel really good when a stream ends and like we took down some bosses. Priscilla's gotcha. Priscilla's the innocent. Damn it, Captain Jazz. Gotta add the innocent in there. Make me feel bad. <laughs> um, but I always feel good when we like go through a stream and like make good progress and take down some bosses. Feels like we're getting somewhere. So here's the question for everybody. Where should we go on Thursday? GG's GG's part human and dragon. So we went through the painting. We did the crow thing. Probably new Londo to the ghost area. Maybe, maybe we'll go see the ghosties. I think we still got to do the ghosties first Sif and now Priscilla. I'm sorry, sketchy Benito. I'm just a terrible human. Ah, y'all making me feel terrible, <laughs> but my friends, you know what time it is though. We got to go raid somebody magnificent, somebody epic, somebody that we could go give some big love to. So let's see who is streaming right now and let's go see who we could raid and uh, just give some, give some Dark Souls love, right? Let's see who is out there playing some games. Um, yo, I got, I see we got a, okay, hold on. I see a couple legends actually. Okay, everybody. Try to check the status and statue in front of you wearing the dark sun ring next stream. Ooh, I will try to remember that Lord Jukebox. I'll try to remember that. So my friends, I have an idea. I want to go raid somebody that I think we have not raided in like a year, but I don't think he usually streams at this time. And he is 
probably one of my biggest inspirations to want to start streaming to want to continue on with streaming um this guy has like 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 positive energy this guy is amazing he is playing he's playing he's playing uh star wars today so like what perfect day to go raid right he's playing what it, uh what was it um the dark souls star wars have any of you played that the fallen jedi have any of you ever played that raid message we got should we think of a raid message lord jukebox i usually don't do any uh i usually don't where, where is my damn thing there it is there's all the socials too um i usually don't do a raid message but i feel like we probably should right this time we'll just say may epic yes let's do may the fourth be with you with a ton of emotes at the end let's just go blow up his chat with may the fourth be with you and then all as many emotes as you want same wavelength you and me epic we're on the same wavelength may the fourth be with you greetings from zeph that totally works too and let's just go blow up his chat with a ton of emotes um seriously you guys are in for a treat money benjamin probably i really believe i would not be streaming if it wasn't for money benjamin like the amount of hype and just energy he gave me when i first started streaming is just next level this guy's amazing playing star wars on may the 4th let's go raid him my friends I, i'm off tomorrow but i will see you all on thursday for more dark souls love you epic and lord jukebox and nikki and sketchy bonito you all are amazing let's go bring the love let's go